scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Faith is sharing responsibilities with God. You can put in bracket partnership with God. Faith is sharing responsibilities with God and the basis for that participation is the word of God in the light of his word. Faith is sharing responsibilities with God in the light of his word so as to get a desired outcome. The second definition of faith. Faith is the name given to the action that we take faith is the name pay attention to this very definition faith is the name given to the action underline action the action that we take based on our conviction and understanding of god's word faith is the name given to the action that we take not belief action the action that we take based on our understanding and conviction of God's word these are very interesting words we are going to be looking at tonight I'm taking it slowly and I'll be as simple as possible I really want us to understand it faith is the name given to the action action praise God so if there is no action there is no faith you must understand this whenever there is no action there is no faith in fact put it this way whenever there is no action there is no persuasion there is no conviction your response is to the extent to which you are convinced convicted persuaded The way men walk on earth is such that they only act in line with their convictions. They may claim to agree that they believe a thing, but their actions are only tilting towards the direction of their convictions. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let me use this gentleman. Come, please. Now, watch this. If I tell this gentleman please look up if I tell this gentleman that seat belongs to you that is a seat for you you can go and sit down anytime you want to now please look up look up everyone I want to have your attention if I tell this gentleman this seat belongs to you it was prepared for you right and um, prepared by me this is my gift to you if this gentleman looks at me and says apostle you can't imagine how grateful I am are we together now and I expect him to prove that he believes that I'm not joking by taking a step are we together it is his walking down to go and sit down are we together now now if he sits on this seat and he breaks and the seat breaks who is to blame are we together so if the seat cannot support his weight then he can safely assume that I'm an irresponsible person. But not until he has taken action. Are we together? So the name of that action is faith. Not the name of his believing. His believing is not faith. 
he's believing is part of the process that leads to faith i think this is where believers are cheated we claim we believe god but then our lives do not show that we believe him we claim we don't believe the devil but our lives show that we believe him very well are you seeing now we can claim i don't believe satan god forbid i rebuke you but all the actions we take are testaments that we believe satan we believe his word we believe his report i'll give you an instance many people claim in the name of jesus recession does not come close to me i mean um the bible says this and that the cattle on a thousand hill belongs to the lord all that that confession after ranting and rapping our daily lives show that we are living in fear in uncertainty that's faith you are taking in the negative you are you are agreeing with the devil by taking action are we together so faith is the name given i tell this gentleman this seat is for you and he says thank you sir and he takes a step now let me tell you how it works in the realm of the spirit pastor femi i want you to do something for me can you lift that chair up sorry we're acting a little drama lift it up so he doesn't see it okay now watch this believe there is a chair there go and sit down now i said it softly and it was easy for you to believe because you saw a chair but now in the realm of the spirit the chair is my word the chair is not an object the chair is my word so in the realm of the spirit whether it is my word or a physical chair is the same now if this guy is a believer what that means is whether his eye actually saw a physical chair or not my word is equivalent to that chair and he responds are we together so he comes and he stands and it is up to me to back it up now but this is what happens to many believers in the name of jesus i call for that chair and god says move and then you take a step and stand here and the devil uses scripture to say look wisdom is profitable to direct there is a difference between a chair and a floor this is the floor and then we stand here and say in the name of jesus who told you i, I mean i know it there's a chair there we are rapping and saying all kinds of things but the power is released at the point of action not just at the point of wishing sit down please are we together now faith right we're defining terms faith is the name given to the action we take based on our conviction and based on our persuasion of the word of god number three faith is obedience the third definition of faith faith in one word is obedience in two words complete obedience faith in one word is obedience two words complete obedience three words obedience and consistency are we together now first john chapter 5 verse 4 the bible clearly tells us that our victory the quality of our lives the exploits that we will do please listen this has nothing to do with ministry being a man of god or a woman of god this is a factor that will determine the extent to which we can make progress in life first john first john 5 verse 4 okay it's projected it says it did not say faith brings victory faith itself is the victory that overcometh the world and it says even our faith this is the victory that will bring you financial success even your faith this is the victory that will bring you healing even your faith this is the victory that will stamp the gates of hell 
even our faith that's if you and i are to be victorious in this kingdom we need faith we need to understand it learn how it works and live by it now if you see someone putting trousers on his head trousers your trousers that you wear you see someone just tie it on his head he's either acting or he's mad agreed do we agree because the level of civilization in our world today should not allow a sane man behave like that are we together now when you are dressed in your trousers nobody looks at you and says uh -uh, why did they cut this trouser into two why is your leg in one hole and another no 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 no. it's not strange are we together that's how faith should be you should never have to look at a man and say you're a man of faith that statement alone is a sign that we are not walking by faith are we together this is the victory my victory as a person our victory as a ministry your victory as an individual as a father as a husband as a leader is not just dependent on intellect please i want you to believe this believe this this is not some word of faith doctrine this is the basis of a victorious life on earth even our faith there are a few things we are going to be looking at right now that for me forms the equation of faith haven't agreed that faith has to do with our action i want us to closely look at why many people really do not act in faith are we together let's look at an interesting scripture i want us to examine a figure romans chapter 4. we're going to look at abraham let's take a case study at the life of abraham from verse 18 romans chapter 4 from verse 18. paul was speaking about the man abraham and he represented a portrait of a man of faith the bible already told us to look up to abraham so we are looking up to him now there are certain things verse 18 frankly has everything that we need to discuss the dynamics of faith very powerful scripture very very rich ready it says speaking about abraham now listen who against hope you can stop here you can stop here alone and just discuss that meaning it is not unusual for any believer to have an obstacle another word for who against hope means in the presence of an obstacle in the presence of a limitation please listen in the presence of a desire in the presence of a need in the presence of an emergency in the presence of an impossible situation who against hope meaning physically speaking there was no no sense in thinking there could be a way out then he says believed in hope so the first thing we see in that scripture is the presence of impossible situations are we together now listen listen let me tell you something never allow obstacles scare you i think this is a revelation you should write never allow obstacles every obstacle in life comes to you in its magnified form i don't care what it is every obstacle in life every obstacle in ministry it presents itself in its magnified form who against hope who with no job who with no child are we together now who with no father who with no mother who with no sponsor who with no connection who with cancer who with hiv who with a tumor who with a breast lump believed kabbalataya i like abraham they didn't say he believed and later discovered there was trouble and said ah 
if I knew there was trouble, I wouldn't have believed. He said, after being aware of the circumstance, he still believed. Who against hope believed? Who against that report believed? Are, are we following? Who against that report? Madam, you will never have a child. We have checked you and we found out there's no fallopian tube. Who against that report still believe that she will carry as many children as she wants? Now please, let me tell you something. It is when faith manifests its results that it becomes pleasant. The journey through believing God looks ugly, stupid and childish until the results vindicate you. Make no mistakes to think you will be rejoicing while you are ongoing. The Bible says there is he that weepeth, bearing precious seeds. When you hear the testimonies of people, we laugh about it as they testify only because we have seen the other side of the miracle but the manufacture process of that miracle it took audacity and seriousness who against hope listen if you are a believer who is alive in our day and our time you better get used to obstacles prophesy to your neighbor and say get used to challenges i didn't say call them they are there there are giants on every mountain if you don't find a giant you are in the valley i guarantee you are we together only god knows the mountains that we are going to face in our lifetime you have the effrontery to declare that our path will be as a shining light shining brighter and brighter who against hope Are you learning something? You know, listen, listen, listen. When I hear many people talk and they say, Apostle, I don't know what I'm going through. I'm even confused. Then I tell them, what did you expect? To believe when there is no challenge? It is usual to believe in the midst of obstacles. That is even when your faith comes alive. Please, I want you to... The start of the journey of faith is the presence of impossible situations if you are going to be a leader here let me tell you there is no amount of fasting that will vindicate you from the presence of obstacles you better learn the system to keep you under their feet you see as you grow in the knowledge of god do you know what makes a man called a father of faith he eats challenges as food to a point where he sits and crosses his legs and while they are now announcing and say ah, do you know if you don't produce one billion tomorrow they are going to lock the church he goes to bed the obstacle knows that he's going to give way there is a way you go to hell there is nowhere to run to again and you look at the challenge and you say i'm coming out and it must respect your voice let me tell you one way god makes us overcomers can i tell you it's not very interesting god puts you face to face with your fears until you no longer fear them this for somebody I'm telling you I'm enjoying what I'm saying you can't believe it so he puts you face to face he does not put you to mock you he puts you to reveal the strength invested in your spirit man hallelujah the presence of obstacles let's follow the dynamics believe so the first thing we see is the presence of an obstacle the second thing we see is that through a system we'll be looking at shortly the man chose to believe god spoke to him and this was a prophecy so shall thy seed be as numerous as the sand in the seashore and the stars and abraham believed believed when sarah could not bear any child believed in spite of his age he counted god faithful let me tell you something do you notice that the faith of abraham was hinged on a word are we together are we together now the faith of abraham was hinged according to that which was spoken 
according to that which was revealed you cannot stand on nothing and claim you have faith your faith must be hinged on a prophetic word it must be hinged on a revealed word let's discuss proper the dynamics of faith the journey of faith the journey of believing god and taking action starts with revelation everybody write it down revelation revelation the first key to your manifesting a life of faith is revelation revelation what is revelation revelation is insight into the promises of god insight into the provisions guaranteed by scripture revelation 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 also means insight into the system that will deliver the results you desire insight into the system or the operation of the system that will deliver the results you desire there are many systems of operation in the bible that are responsible for the delivery of different results are we together revelation insight the hallmark of revelation is understanding write it down you truly have not had revelation if you do not understand understanding is a point where you now know how that principle works and you know the role you have to play you know the role you have to play good master what shall i do to be saved not do you want to save me the problem with most believers is we know what god should do but we do not know what we should do we know what god should do but we do not know what we should do remember in hebrews 11 last week all through the journey of faith in hebrews 11 they said things or did things they the common denominator with all those elders the bible says obtained a good report is that they took action based on their conviction of god's word so we see revelation that leads to understanding listen it is vain to act on a word you do not understand when you don't know your role listen 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 confusion always comes into any life where there is no clarity clarity there must be clarity of assignment clarity of purpose concerning my prosperity oh god what is the way out you see you don't guess your path of breakthrough you find it out through revelation are we together the doctors say i am ss i am on a journey to change that report so what do i do ss i change you it won't change that way that's not faith number one you are not standing on any known word you know you are just speaking blindly you're not going to get a miracle that way is god helping us now many of us think the point of miracle is when we confess scripture no 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 there is a law confession is useless until you believe we are going there with the heart man believes first you don't confess to believe you confess to make it manifest that you have believed the bible calls it the spirit of faith or the operation of faith is god helping us tonight please pay attention to where you have been missing it so that you can correct that link are we together so let's use someone again come thank god you're a doctor now this guy has god forbid in jesus name this guy has um his ss for instance now watch this please because this may be you this guy may be ss are we together now i want to change from ss to aa is god a herbalist no is he a magician no is he a miracle worker absolutely yes so the first thing you have to do is not just to say in the name of jesus me i'm tired of this thing but it's there are we together 
oh it must change then you go for test no 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 you are taking action based on what are we together now it is not action i'm showing you where we cheat ourselves in the body of christ it must be based on something so this guy the first thing he needs is an encounter with the word that has a provision for his healing you read about money you'll be rich but i guarantee you you'll never you'll never be healed the 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 revelation about money does not bring healing are we together the revelation about money does not bring healing just like jollof rice is not fried rice although rice is involved in the two processes are we together now you do not just read anything and say because it's scripture remember you are reading the words of a man is is his commitment to you the dynamics of faith this guy wants to change his situation the first thing is is he really interested do you know i have found out it's costly to believe that there are people who want their situations to change you may think because they come for miracle service they really want their situations to change it's not true it's not true at all that's why jesus will ask them what should i do for you i can't assume that you are tired of being blind you may just want money are we together now i think it was papa deboe that shared a story of somebody who i think he was crippled or so i can't remember and then he prayed for the person and the person was healed and the person got angry he really got angry because i mean he got a lot of uh, uh generous donations from being crippled people pitied him he didn't have to walk now that his legs were working no more free lunch and he said he told papa Deboya, you know he was angry what kind of thing is this you have you have scattered my whole destiny i didn't ask i just asked you for money not for healing as funny as this looks there are people like that there are people who love being pitied they enjoy their attention they get around obstacles so they hug those obstacles and remain there hoping to draw empathy through it you will never rise out of challenges that way you must so hate where you are that you do any scriptural thing it takes to get out of there woe to them the bible says what is in zion this guy if he's passive about changing from ss to aa i guarantee you he will remain ss oh can i pray for you yes i don't mind you are just careless and casual there is nothing intentional you are not angry enough it's not a concern to you are we together no you don't approach spiritual things like that that level of 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 um, pacifism does not bring result when you are determined and you are saying the name of jesus christ my entire lineage everybody has been ss i don't find the genotype ss in scripture that means something is wrong somewhere and i'm going to change it so his first assignment is not to start speaking his first assignment is not to run to the hospital for test it will still be ss i guarantee you his first assignment is to find the basis upon which his action will be placed on the word of god you see faith is hard work that's why lazy people cannot believe god faith is not cheap that's why we prefer talking because we think there's nothing to do in the name of jesus i am free you are not free we are seeing it you are not free faith is not foolishness there is an aspect of the equation where you're speaking now gives life but not just that you lazily speak and then you think things will change no sir is god helping us so he's he begins to search the word thank god for technology i download every place where jesus healed matthew mark luke and john while people are snoring their destiny i'm awake showing how serious i am lord i believe and then i begin to study for by his stripes by his stripes the holy ghost begins to take advantage of that word and i see jesus christ on the cross crying and looking at me and i see the blood dripping and the spirit of god takes me to the communion drink this my blood of the new testament an exchange like a blood transfusion whoever drinks of my blood 
eats of my flesh i'm showing you meditation has my life in theology is called the doctrine of interpenetration the mystery with which two entities become one i not only believe in him his life he says this is the testimony that god has given us eternal life then he says this life is in his son whoever has the son has life now while i'm meditating the devil is trying to tell me when you finish wasting your time i'm there waiting for you but then i take my eyes who against hope and while you are meditating you will feel the pain i'm not telling you you are going to be laughing oh apostle you don't know it's it's 10 years i've been married i know i know it's not easy i can only imagine please i don't want you to ever think faith is not denying pain listen please this is where what preachers have made a mistake sometimes in a bid to help you become a man of faith they can say just pretend there's no pain and you say there's there is pain please there is pain does not mean you don't have faith but what i'm saying is i know that there is an obvious situation but against it against it against it i am looking up to something higher are we together now so i am coughing out blood everybody is seeing that this is blood i can't call it water i will be lying that's stupidity that's not faith this is blood i am i am shrinking it's obvious that this is witchcraft attack but against it i'm believing by his stripes and i'm meditating upon it let me tell you the moment i begin to study through the stories then i hear while the evening was come they all came and gathered to hear and to be healed now the holy spirit locks in there with you to hear and to be healed that means the working of miracles is tied to the hearing of faith the hearing of faith the working of miracles the hearing of faith the working of miracles there is something you must hear to plant faith you act on that word a word that is spoken the hearing of faith you see now the word of god is growing in my spirit the holy ghost is infusing something in me the hearing of faith the working of miracles the hearing of faith the working of miracles you act into that fire petrol on fire your spirit is ready for miracle service now you are coming for miracle service not carelessly people just strolled and came let's come and see what will happen but you have already come with a revelation the hearing of faith the working of miracle are we together now the hearing of faith the moment the man of god comes up your spirit is open the hearing of faith the working of miracles in the name of jesus christ be healed and you don't just stand and say but i didn't fall and you are saying a lot of stupid things that are cheating you while you are standing wasting three hours and you are being cheated there the hearing of faith it is useless to take action when understanding is not there understanding defines your role in the equation please write this down but it works through faith the grace of God appeared to you, but the action of faith, there was endurance there. As free as salvation is, someone must take a step of faith. Is that true? Please, don't get into this understanding that because it's by grace, it comes to you by itself. You have a part to play you and god that's why we call the meeting koinonia it's a sharing together it's a participation if you understand this key you will know that you are to sit down and wait for god blindly is to sit down and wait in frustration forever are you getting what i'm saying now we're examining the dynamics of faith so understanding now i have come to a point let me use finances now this gentleman was born from a background for instance poverty causes yokes suffering you know all kinds of things this 
person gets tired of his situation and prays and fasts and say lord change my life now let me tell you what that fasting will do that fasting will enable the holy spirit lead him to a tape lead him to a book or lead him to the word because it is not magic the best he can get from that prayer and fasting is favor that is instantaneous someone will just come and say the lord told me to give you twenty thousand. that is good but that's not it's not enough to fund your destiny so god encourages that current situation because you are hungry it's obvious you will die if he doesn't show up so twenty thousand is given to you to help you but that does not mean that's his system of doing things now you go and study the word directly or through men and women who by grace they've had access to that revelation now listen i begin to study the word of god and i find out that there is a role i have to play are we together now i there is a role god has to play this is god here his spirit is eternally settled don't confuse this so i now begin to search from the word of god there is he that scattered and yet increases there is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty that scripture attacks my greed and i come to terms with the fact that i'm a greedy person i've never helped anybody that scripture he that gives to the poor lends to the lord ah i've not given to anybody so this is the key yet ye have robbed me lord i believe i'm now seen i've always been greedy and i told you remember hebrews 11 the first elder the bible talked about was abel it says by faith abel offered a more excellent sacrifice he gave lavishly because he believed that god was his supplier cain was a miser because he did not believe there can be another supply let me tell you greed is one of the proofs of unbelief that's why politicians are very lavish because they know they can fetch it again so they are not necessarily working by faith but there is a conviction that they can fetch it anytime people are greedy because they do not think it will ever be enough by faith abel offered a more excellent sacrifice is god speaking to someone here let me show you the major of our faith where we miss it in the dynamics of faith let me show you a very interesting scripture bless you bless you bless you let me show you one scripture god gave me a revelation that i mean it just blew me in a way um matthew 17 please we'll read verse 15 to 20 media help us it's going to us tonight matthew 17 15 to 20. matthew 17 15 to 20. matthew 17 15 to 20. are you there now watch this this was the case of a lunatic right it says lord have mercy on my son the father of the boy now for he is lunatic and so vexed and often he followed into the fire and off into the water we're reading down to 20 and brought him to the disciples and they could not heal him so this was a situation where the disciples tried to act are you seeing that it's not all about action and jesus answered and said oh faithless and perverse generation how long shall i be with you how long shall i suffer permit you bring him hither to me verse 18 and jesus rebuked the devil and he departed at him and the child was cured from that very hour 19. then came the disciples now listen listen came the disciples to jesus apart and said why could not we cast him out why could not we prosper why were we not healed they were asking a question why they did not get results verse 20. i want you to look at this scripture god gave me a powerful revelation i'm about to show you i've heard many preachers talk about it but god gave me a new light it says and jesus said unto them because of your unbelief please listen it says for verily verily i say unto you if you have faith and say grain of mustard seed not size and the bible says as far as the earth remains seed time and harvest meaning your faith is inactive until it is planted 
until it is planted the seed is the word the soil is your heart faith is of the heart he is giving us an understanding to the operation of faith if your faith can act in the similitude of a mustard seed it is the smallest but when you plant it in the right soil give it time are you getting what i'm saying now so it's not talking about size many of us just come and say the size does not matter are you kidding faith is a seed is like the mustard seed how do you benefit from the mustard seed i have i have a, a, a little bowl full of mustard seed and sometimes i look at it i turn it it's so small really tiny i turn it and it doesn't even fall you know just sticks to the bottom of the bowl and i'm looking at it i say oh this little thing and this is what the bible says our faith will be like but the wonder of that seed is when it gets to the soil meaning your faith standing inactive not reaching your spirit once the word of god has not gotten into your spirit faith cannot be produced it must be like the mustard seed planted watered allowed to grow then it moves mountains the seed does not move mountains the tree the seed produces is what moves mountains is god helping us tonight so revelation understanding produces conviction now the point of conviction in the faith equation is what we have called belief pistis belief belief conviction persuasion are we together belief is not the same thing as faith belief leads to the manifestation of faith but belief is not the same as faith the moment you have believed then you are now ready to take action but that does not mean you have manifested faith by itself i believe god will prosper the business i have studied the word of god i understand the dynamics i have sown a seed i have studied i have gotten mentorship now you have believed the next thing is to take action this is where the action part that we call faith comes in are you seeing now most people start taking action blindly and we never get anything number one an encounter with the word produces revelation leads to understanding understanding leads to your knowledge of what your role is in getting that desired outcome then you are convicted we call it persuasion you are now persuaded beyond the obstacle so i know that there is an obstacle before me but i also know that that mountain is surmountable now i can take steps are we together romans chapter 10 please we'll read from verse 8 to 10. let's look at some of the actions that we can take to complete the faith equation there are not many actions we take the actions are broadly obedient actions broadly obedient actions it says but what saith it the word nigh thee now listen even in thy mouth and in thy heart that is the word of faith which we preach this is the dynamics of faith now right that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the lord jesus and thou shalt believe in thy heart that god raised him from the dead thou shalt be saved verse 10 this is the correct protocol for confessing the word of god the correct protocol for confessing the word of god is first with the heart man believes then with the mouth confession is made are we together the bible calls it the operation in fact this is what the bible calls the spirit of faith second corinthians 4 13 give it to us please second corinthians 4 13 second corinthians 4 13 but we having the spirit or the operation of faith as it is written right it says we having the same spirit of faith according as it is written how is the spirit of faith the word spirit there means the operation of faith so also if you want to operate it this is what you must do you must believe and then you speak 
you don't just speak blindly brothers and sisters the word confession comes from the hebrew word homologio and the, the the context of the word is to repeat as you have heard but it's not just to speak as you are hearing it is actually to repeat on the strength of the conviction you have based on what you have heard it literally means reflect the person talking to you both in conviction and communication not just speaking the person talking to you is standing upon an understanding you too stand upon that understanding and then you speak are we together there are different actions please listen write this down there are different actions that the bible requires for different manifestations of results there are different actions that the bible requires for different manifestations of results there are different actions an example of such actions number one speaking speaking consistent with god's word speaking is an action that the bible requires there are instances in scripture where the delivery of certain results attached to your speaking releasing the power of creation the creative force of the word calling the things that be not as though they are number two giving there is the action of giving a piece of a seed a piece of anything that is of worth is an action there are instances in scripture that will require that action to perfect your faith are we together the third action a step of faith physical steps of faith as in the case of healing physical steps of faith you move the part of your body that could not move you try to take action by faith physical steps of faith physical steps of faith number four obedience to revealed instructions obedience we are stating some of the actions that can be taken that the word of god the step you need to take is obedience to an instruction given by god there are faith actions is god helping us the end of your faith experience is that you get to a point where you now commit god now listen god write this down god is only committed when your obedience is perfected god is only committed when your obedience please i want you to understand this god is a loving god he's a gracious god but he has subjected himself to the influence of his word the bible says that he exalts his word even above his name only committed to your course and to your life where your obedience is complete the bible tells us in habakkuk chapter 2 it says the vision will speak in the end it didn't say the vision will speak in the beginning you will take steps and it will look like nothing is happening another word for faith is consistency is god helping us please action let me emphasize a, a little more about this action action taking action for me is about the hardest aspect of faith do you know why because sometimes write it down most faith actions are risky most faith actions are what risky most faith actions are risky you have two hundred thousand you are looking for two million and the holy ghost speaks to you and says so everything and you have 72 hours to raise that money now that's risky what if that was not god you have complicated the case listen another word for faith is r-i-s-k it's a risk that's how you spell faith Faith is spelled R I S K. 
okay. Play it safe, you will lose out in life. You must be audacious, not stupid, audacious. That's why your faith must rest upon something. God said this. I take him by his word. If I perish, I perish, but I count him faithful. Are we together? It had never happened, but Noah, I will do it. See, training yourself to hear God is one of the greatest investments you can make in your life. Write it down. Growing to a point spiritually where you learn how to hear God is, is, is a treasure you will, you will live to enjoy for the rest of your life. Because the problem for many people is whether it is really God. The problem is not that they do not have the grace to obey. Let me tell you why the disciples obeyed effortlessly. They could not doubt that it was not God. They said that which we have seen, that which we have heard, that which we have handled. Right? And Satan has done something to our generation. Satan has created a haze and a cloud around spiritual perception. There is no time in human history where there is confusion about discerning what God is saying. He has corrupted every avenue, every biblical avenue to hear God because Satan knows that faith comes by hearing. So he focused on corrupting dreams, corrupting visions. Are we together so now you don't even know whether the person you saw in the dream is your husband again because you saw somebody whereas it would have been a good opportunity but satan has now confused it you saw 20 faces you don't even know there's you, you are not you are even afraid of the dream we've had people who were praying and landed in shika there have been cases like that people praying in tongues you see how satan wants to corrupt everything let me tell you something satan fears that men hear god because he knows that when men hear god they can take action and if it is god he will commit himself so satan's project in your life is to confuse you as much as possible so because he knows that your faith is tied to the word of god it's tied to the clear of what you know what god is saying if someone walks up to me now and says apostle do you know this koinonia program you are holding is not in the will of God. You are out of the will of God and you have been walking in disobedience. You are about to die. Now, I'm not going to go back and say, God, please help me. Is it that I didn't hear you? The encounters that lead to this were so certain. Brothers and sisters, never do anything major in your life until there is solid conviction. But I know God sent me. Do you know why many people chicken out the voice of God is not clear? Don't marry when you have not had the voice of God. Don't give birth to children when you have not had the voice of God. You thought you had seven. Now when the going gets tough, you hear three. It's not clear. See, I'm saying this. Let me show us where. Because you see, in, I told us last week. I hope you know during the time of the apostles, they didn't have this. So their faith was entirely dependent on what Jesus told them. Jesus told them, go to the lost sheep of Israel. The kingdom has come, heal the sick, cast out death. When he was speaking, faith was planted. They believed him. Did they believe him? They were persuaded. Now he did not go with them. So you don't have to wait until you see the physical presence of Jesus. They went. He sent them just like he's sending his word. So his word went with them. Don't, Jesus must appear before you obey. His word is him in your life. He said, Go now don't think they were just laughing when they saw someone's hand twisted in a way that it says is there bone in this i say yes heal the sick as you go i tell you this happens to me all the time we returned from yola it was a mighty from from mubi it was such such a mighty mighty crusade i mean there were all kinds of miracles 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 it was very humbling nobody gives me a guarantee that's why people stage manage miracles it's not easy because 
they want to make sure they can create it if god didn't speak let's speak so they can say jimmy behave your hand is not working well so that if god does it or not at least you can release your hand and say it's working now because faith is hard work if faith is not hard work nobody will fake miracles are we together god will never give you any guarantee outside of his word looking for any guarantee out of his word is unbelief he will send you with his word watch this i have money here i like using money to teach come the guy is already smiling <laughs> watch this all this what is this you can't say you don't know it what is this money one thousand naira. please look up look up call this the word of god are we together now this water is one thousand naira. huh are you holding one thousand naira? this is the evidence of what you have not seen is that true this is faith is the substance this is water for you this is the same as water because it can buy water are we together go and drop it and pick water and come back so shall my word not return drop it now and come it shall accomplish because his word is currency when he sends you the word can buy you things miracles signs this guy dropped the 1000 now the way God, once the miracle happens the process is reversed the word returns back to him ready to be sent again the word is like a messenger it returns to God meaning it has not yet returned to heaven and it will stay there waiting for your faith to insist believe what I'm telling you don't think I'm motivating you because the fire in Nigeria will require you understanding this yes that's a song that's the song the word you speak can do what what's the song can turn things around now watch this I've given him the word of God hold it this is the word of God spirit and life are we together and then you drop it they will say you are too small to hold it whoever can hold it can receive it so the word of God watch this because you rejected it as many as received him he gave them power to become they received so they had power to become so he gives you a word son you are going to your marriage will be a blessing your children surround your table as at the time he's, he's saying this you ask a lady out and say i want to see your parents and say don't ever talk to me about marriage again but the word of god says your marriage will be a blessing are we together the word of god to you comes male and female he created them he says seek out of the book and read none shall want her mate is to take this word and never let it go you can fall but hold the word i guarantee you if you hold this word it will bring you a result it will bring you a result i know what i'm saying that is how this work that we are doing by grace came that is how this thing you see will come into your life now anybody who ignores the word of god is really foolish you are studying the word of god is the same thing as using an atm every time you are studying imagine yourself using an atm please answer me is this minerals help me is this minerals if i dash this guy now and i say buy bonds after the program he will be laughing did i give him bonds did i give him um, minerals i gave him the substance of what he's hoping for i gave him the evidence of what he has not seen so paul says now faith is the word of god i give you the equivalent of the blessing here is the principle to cash it and he say god i want money and he says you are foolish you see how foolish a lot of people are you will excel i'm showing you rugged faith because i'm telling you our generation is a generation of complete unbelief try to do anything that is of faith people will call you stupid that's why people don't get any significant results in their lives when it's time to pray for the sick god told us to put a miracle service so we tell the sick bodies come listen how come i am laying hands on somebody 
how am I sure or how am I not sure that this guy has a communicable disease that can infect me too do you know the kinds of people I have laid hands on tuberculosis whatever if I am lying with this thing I'm telling you by now you will know you are praying for him the problem is on the leg you are praying on his head he said no no it's here as if it's where you touch it's not just where you touch when you take panadol do you swallow it from your leg no 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 answer me you just swallow it and go to bed the drug knows how to find its way and solve that problem why have we downgraded the word of god help that lady under the anointing look at me i'm showing you a principle that if you understand you will change your life are we together so shall my word be so shall my word be so shall my word be god gives you a word hey jimmy i want to make you a billionaire take that word i am making you a kingdom financier you take that word by the time he's giving you that word your atm is 20 naira so what who taught you that this is not currency please believe what i'm telling you so you take that word you've not been pregnant you've been trying and trying the baby has refused to come kill me he sent forth his word if i give you one thousand together with the skill of a doctor and the doctor now says lie down and cuts you opens you and removes whatever tumor you will be grateful god gives you this and says this is both doctor this is both money just take it now let me tell you something the moment you fulfill your part of the deal this word is so powerful it can become anything the bible simply said the word became flesh flesh means it had a material substance albert einstein suffered and did something to the world that we have refused we have punished people and given them zero in physics not knowing that that albert einstein formula is the secret for transferring spiritual realities he gave us a relationship between energy and matter that energy and matter are interconnected they can be changed it's not physics that spirit that's that's the word of god he simply calls spirit energy because there is nothing else he can call it there is a system that transfers the word of god to a material vessel you are standing and god says i'm going to give you a house where is the house in his word take that word the word itself will begin to move people i look at things in my life today that god told me they will come and i watched them come today and i said lord so your word really brought this anything the word of god cannot produce is not available write it down don't let no herbalist fool you don't let no science deceive you whatever the word of god if the word of god cannot give you a child i guarantee you no amount of witchcraft and diabolism will give you a child they will only give you trouble in human form hallelujah is god helping us revelation leads you to understanding brings you conviction now convicted you know what you should do then you take consistent action consistent action you are not going to take you see you must add to your action patience brothers and sisters you must add to your action patience nobody plants maize and comes next week in the farm and gets angry when you plant maize what do you expect to happen to it please answer me when you come back and you just see one little green thing do you complain you start rejoicing my maize is growing so why don't you celebrate the miracles when they start 
the leg could not move before but now something is happening it's moving and you just look and say Kai, this man is fake it's not working when Elijah saw the cloud like the fist of a man's hand immediately immediately he rejoiced he didn't say I will keep praying until the environment is tense immediately he saw that he knew that the system of transportation had arrived the goods had arrived and he started preparing to run I'm on my way to better days listen faith faith is God's system of rescue you may say I did not come from a good background listen to me you may say my father was this and that I didn't have the opportunity to be educated I didn't have the opportunity to grow up in London I came from a village faith is the victory faith is the victory we are gathered here tonight because of faith God sent a word men believed it they walked with it they mounted pressure on his integrity I'm on my way to paradise. Hallelujah. One time, we're returning from, I don't know which of the, I, I can't remember where we went now, and a lady sent me a text and said she saw, whether she saw me having an accident or something or a plane crash. Now, it may be that that's what the devil had planned, to kill me on the road. But you see, I have an understanding that at the point of obedience God is also committed not just to bring his word to pass to protect you while you are obeying him are we together now I can sit down and just make noise and brag and say no 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 I will not die and jam myself and shred myself into pieces they will carry my bones and bury me. you will just cry for one week I know you love me but I tell you one week and that's all koinonia continues I go to heaven but I didn't finish my assignment are we together see the next time you make an audacious statement pause sila ask yourself what am what rock is my house built upon because it is never the building it is what the building is upon you are seeing people dying you better ask questions it's happening are we together you are not giving birth Please, I want us to be honest with ourselves. This night, we are going to examine the areas in our lives where things are not working and find out what part of this equation am I missing. Good master, what must I do? Good master, what must I do? Oh God of prosperity, what must I do? God of influence, what must I do? There is no excuse. There is no excuse. There is no excuse and wizards nonsense there is one person getting a result is God challenging us we must take responsibility over our lives over our lives over our lives and he will protect you God gave us a word we believed it there are many things that God has said to me even in recent times and these things look big and gigantic but then I just told him I said Lord I'm a believer you have trained me well you trained me well in the school of the spirit God trained me to believe him God is able to do just what he says he will do he's gonna fulfill every promise to you don't give up on God Cause He will give up He said Listen The word of God that, Yes, the word of God Just with the word of God Yes, I will It created the heavens and the earth It can create my destiny I don't believe it Keep watching Ha! when a man has vowed to believe God I show you a dangerous man you stand on his way the word will clear you as if he didn't see you never conclude on a man who has vowed to be addicted to see let me tell you 
do you know why i preach and talk to you i have seen what god has told me you will become i have seen it not just in visions he has told me i prayed to god one time and i said lord i don't want to pastor people who are weak i want spiritual men but men of influence and god told me this is what you do so you are sitting now i know you are wearing a rubber shoe don't worry you will see what will happen to you i've said it prophetically we will all be great and the greatest part is we will all know ourselves i said this thing when we were sitting on mat i believe yes lord I believe. yes lord i believe it is well me now let me tell you you can choose to there is something called the mystery of mockery a lady gets up in the night and she's prophesying i'm a virtuous woman in the name of jesus she's reading books and you say are you this desperate for a husband the mystery of mockery see let me tell you do you know why many of us don't this this our this our wanting not wanting a bad name Huh? I don't want you to say I am this and that. See, if you don't make up your mind to obey the word of God and you leave the word of God because you are trying to be nice to people, you will fail and they will not come to help you. Are we together? Mockery. When you saturate your phone with nonsense music, you are listening to anything and it doesn't matter. And you say, look, I have to be social. Right. I said before you life and death. I said before you blessing and cursing because there are people listening to me right now and we think what i'm saying is nonsense you will find them they want money they want influence they want anointing but they will never listen while the word is coming like this they sit down there in pride and they're arguing it and then they never really get any result i have not seen one person who is ashamed of god and ashamed of the things of god who rose up gloriously in his life you pray in tongues you have a little corner you are praying in tongues somebody just enters and you just behave as if as if as if what you are doing is an embarrassment outspoken obedience because you believe god god said it i believe it one day god will tell you carry 80 percent of your clothes share them strategically God, I just bought this one. You would have given me the instruction before this one arrived. Can you do it? Don't laugh. I'm telling you why people never rise. See, let me tell you something about not just prosperity, but the blessing of God. If you do not stretch your, your, your giving life, you know how a rubber ring is. You must get to a point where you are you can release anything at the word of god otherwise get ready to be poor i say this the key to increase is not greed the key to increase is not business the key to increase is activating the word of god you are not a tighter you are scripturally entitled to poverty i guarantee you i guarantee you it is not a gimmick by a man of God to collect your money where people of integrity most people are not consistent titles most people don't give we are greedy greedy not to the poor not sowing into anointings not nothing yet you want a harvest to come from where the Bible says if the cloud if your cloud be full of rain I cannot afford to walk into a future I have not sent seeds ahead of no Are we together the word of god i believe this word and i act on it i act on it this is the word that has helped us so far when you stand before a sick body there is no guarantee you can pray in tongues and do all you need to do but at the point of obedience jesus said they shall lay hands on the sick come so this brother is sick I know he's sick we are all seeing the lump I'm seeing it he's feeling the pain but Jesus said they shall lay hands on the sick now it is up to me to look and say Kai you said how did this thing come and just turn back let me tell you what I've done 
I have robbed God of the opportunity to prove himself. Now, somebody may ask, Apostle, but the other time, I did exactly what the word of God said and it did not happen. Do you still count him faithful? Let me tell you something about God. If you obey God sincerely from your heart and there is no result, then it has not finished. Keep watching. There is hope for a tree even though it be cut short. He said at the scent of water. Have you watched films? Actor and the boss. They will beat the actor as if he entered a meat machine. You would think he's dead. But from the beginning of the film, a ghost appeared and told him he was going to make it. You know all those kind of films. While they are beating him, he's remembering that vision. And sometimes he would die truly. Then the ghost will appear and give him life because the ghost must defend what she said oh come on if a ghost can appear to defend it why not die believing god it's better than living believing men who cannot help you i believe god seated in this place bless you are men and women who are where they are today because they have believed god let me tell you make no mistakes scatter in this congregation and people following online are men who are where they are today because they have believed God. By faith. There are people here who were once Muslims. Right? We have some of them here. By faith, they believed God and his prophecy. And they denied the shame. Some of them went through hell in their families. Including death threat. By faith. God committed himself. People sold cars and houses like idiots. Believing the word of God, there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth. There's a man years ago, he's a pastor. He gave this testimony, true story. He went for a convention and there was a building. They wanted to roof it. And they were raising funds for the roof. And, you know, he had his own house, beautiful house, personal house. And the Holy Ghost ministered to him. And said son I want you to give this house to that church they will sell it and roof the house he didn't know how to tell his wife that's why I said it's good to hear God as soon as he held the wife's hand she started crying because her too had had the instruction from God and she looked at him and she said if it is God let's give it let me tell you something they came out of that house as landlords and became tenants what do you call that in our society stupid stupid is that not true? Your parents will say, never come for koinonia again. If this what that idiot is teaching you people, don't ever. But they, they remember the word of God, not just intention, not just desire. The word of God. Do you know they sowed that seed? It was heavy upon them. But from that day, the Lord spoke to that man and said, you will never build a house in your lifetime again. As at the time he was speaking, I think he had at least 17 of those houses all gifts somebody comes and says god said i should give you this bungalow please come and look at this house if you like it now you like the man's story do you like what he did if you claim to be abraham's children you will do the works of abraham he took his only begotten son there are men who god gave them instructions all through this year from 12 o'clock till three o'clock spend time with me 12 to 3 it's me and you that's hard work there are people god give instructions first one year january 1st to december 1st there are people here there was a gentleman that fasted 400 days 400 days i rounded up the last day with him i've never fasted 400 days in my life six to six not not six to ten six to six please I'm challenging you koinonia your destiny is in your hands everybody say my destiny is in my hands if you want to rise up you can take this word today next week I'm going to be teaching us on faith boosters I'm going to be teaching us the mystery of thanksgiving praise partnership the things that help faith to stand Romans chapter 4 verse 18 let's attempt to round up we are going to pray tonight this is the victory Romans 4 18 believed 
so let's look at a few words those are the key words there against something he believed that he might become according to that which was spoken God spoke something in my life I see obstacles standing against I believe that I may become that which has been spoken say in the name of Jesus say it in the name of Jesus everything God declared about me I make up my mind that I will walk by faith I make up my mind that I will live by faith one of the things God is already telling me about the miracle service this month's miracle service is that he's going to be focusing on fruitfulness this food we are going to deal with this issue of barrenness this miracle service if that's the only thing we do we are going to trash it to nonsense next week we are going to announce it i don't care where the baby will grow whether it's on the leg on the head that baby must grow do you believe god you believe god for miracles I wish I wish I can I can bring my heart and put it into you so that you will understand this thing nothing will ever change in your life until you walk by faith look at me nothing will ever change in your life until you choose to walk by faith but apostle what if it does not work let it not work then you blame God but not before the system of the kingdom is not until you see results step first there are people God has given instructions here. They will never take a step. There is an action you must take. Do you know there are times that God can give you a crazy instruction. Go and lock. Go and lock yourself in a room. The action may be praise. Tehila. Praise God. You know those Igbo songs? Those, those, what they call them? And God can just close you there and say dance for one hour it looks stupid are we together you feel you are too big ah uh -uh. dance again God just say I should so because we think he he uses the foolish things let me tell you I want you today to learn to be a child before God sometimes the instruction God can give you is when you come for koinonia as praise and worship is going on or worship just lie down flat on the floor that's an instruction that's an instruction it looks stupid but there is a miracle in that instruction the miracle is not in lying down the miracle is the unashamedness to obey God are we together I remember a woman one time she had been trusting God. I don't know why I'm talking about barrenness. She had been trusting God for a child and the Lord gave her an instruction. She said she should buy, she should buy children's clothes, baby clothes for two people who already gave birth in the church. Do you know this woman went and they said, God told her, this was what she said, that the money she would have used for her own child, this woman shopped like die and divided it into two and gave those children like two months she took in. She took in. In Mubi, where we went, um, they might even be following online now. The last time we went, before last week, while we went there, one particular person, he believed, you know, the wife, they'd been trusting God for a child, a lecturer there in the university there, and nothing had come. And he believed, the instruction he believed God gave him was that he should drive me. That was the instruction throughout the program. A doctor, PhD, dropped his pride and was the one who was driving me all around drove me all through when we left that place i think it was one month later his wife took him when i went i went to pray for them where was the demon where was the cause the cause is only stand because your disobedience keeps them standing when you are ready to radically obey not not half obedience let me tell you i believe in my spirit one of the greatest areas of disobedience in our lives is giving I'm not saying this because I want money. I fear God. Please don't, don't, please don't confuse this. 
I want you to prosper. One of the reasons why many of us may never rise in our personal finances where we are is this giving thing. It's a, you, you would rather pray for 12 hours than to give 1,000 naira. You can even pray and do frog jump as you are praying. But the money should come out of your pocket. No. So you never rise. Your spirit is charged but you are poor. So you excuse the instruction by going for prayer department meeting. You even go by three and say, Lord, I give you one year extra prayer before they start. No. Every result, every result has the instruction that leads to it. Every result has the instruction that leads to it. Every result has the instruction. The apex of your faith work is when the instructions come obey fast and obey completely obey fast and obey completely bishop oyedeko was sharing how that while they were dedicating covenant university in the presence of dignitaries people coming from different nations other intellectuals he said the lord told him with his suit or whatever it is that he was wearing to lie down flat by the gate of covenant university in the presence of everybody to lie down flat and hand over covenant university to him and he said that was what he did in the presence of everybody he went down flat now it's easy for you to go down if you like you can fall down or lie down flat but for a man at that level he said he laid down flat and he said lord i hand over this university to you And you can see that it is God that is leading it. You know when God is leading a thing. Please, I'm speaking to us. It's time to lay your burdens down. And pick something higher. And start running with tangible results. For some of us, throughout this 2016, the only thing that has moved forward in your life is your prayer life. Nothing else has moved forward. That's not the will of God. It's the will of God that everything will move forward. hallelujah our parents have disobeyed God to their peril they, they never walk by faith so this car I bind that spirit I suffered with my money this is my first car so it becomes your last one you stay with it there and punish the whole family members do you know let me tell you the thing about faith if you are not manifesting faith and you see someone manifesting faith and getting results. Do you know what will happen to you? You will be angry. That's all. That's why the society is full of angry people. What is this lady doing that they are promoting her in the office? She must be sleeping with the manager. No, sir. You, she's obeying every instruction God is giving. And she's three years in that place of work. But she has risen. You are there. But you will never obey God. Do, do not over intellectualize God. God is spirit. God is spirit. God gave a corporate instruction and they obeyed. When was the last time? If you cannot look at your life and say you had an instruction from God, honestly, honestly, something is wrong with your spiritual life. You should go for a retreat. When God begins to give instructions, Femi, wake up. It's two o'clock. But I need to speak to you. Just spend some time. No more sleep. And you put worship song. And you are just walking around. Lord why are you waking me by two? It looks like these kind of things have become extinct in the body of Christ. Where God wakes people. When you say God wake me. People look at you. Which God? You. God doesn't know who to wake. He's waking you. You see we, we have become. Not, not koinonia now. Not koinonia. We're spiritual people. But I'm saying this carnality. Has so swept the body of Christ. When people say God spoke to me. Just, I beg you, God, God does, doesn't know what to speak to. What, what made us become like this? God can say stand up Femi. He may not tell you why. He's just saying pray. Just keep praying. Shakata batakata. That's all the instruction God gave. Walk around and pray. 30 minutes he has not said anything. 40 minutes he has not said anything. 50 minutes he has not said anything. One hour he has not said anything. You remain at the last place of instruction until another one comes. 
and you continue praying one hour ten minutes you are still praying in tongues an anointing comes on you and he says speak your Bible and you begin to write I will make you exceedingly great God is a master of speaking to people in the night as anybody that knows God the night time is when his voice is, is, is clear all the people who don't have faith are sleeping God is speaking to you I will make you exceedingly great he will use a scripture as I was with Moses so I will be with you Ejimi you wake up in the morning with that word guys the Lord has spoken to us he said he will be with us in koinonia ah oh, let's see what will happen and you begin to see evidences of his presence there are promises that God has given me I have a very deep covenant with God I have a very I respect the speakings of God there are things God has told me I look forward to my birthdays I look forward to the end of the year when we finish koinonia now while I start my retreat I look forward to hearing what God says you see let me tell you one thing that will boost your faith is to create seasons where you meet with God God Jesus we are one with him but he's not our mate all this nonsense that is a God if you want to touch me talk to me anytime you need to create a time I'm busy looking for money looking for fame looking for wife and husband and we never hear him one word from God will give you what you are fasting for for hundred years listen brothers and sisters where you are in life somebody was once there it took faith for them to live there you have refused to leave that place and leave the space for others use your faith and get out of that place in this kingdom last scripture it is unto you according to your faith it is unto you matthew chapter 9 matthew chapter 9 the last scripture we'll look at today and then we'll pray i want us to take 10 minutes really praying in the spirit matthew chapter 9 from verse 27 actually to 29 but you can leave it to 30 but 29 please watch this it's projected and when jesus departed thence two blind men how many blind men two blind men followed him question how can a blind man follow somebody he didn't say they called him two blind men looked for him and followed him they had heard about him are we together i'm sure they had been discussing the day this man comes near here that's the day our eyes will open what of you is me too my eyes will open that's why they were friends two blind men if two blind men can be friends with themselves for their healings you should make friends with good people don't make friends with people who choke your faith you want to take a step of faith you carry the ten thousand naira they just hold you and say sorry yo. it's not like i'm saying you should not give but you too be wise i just say oh, it's true oh god you see that's not a good friend that's a nice friend but it's not a good friend and when Jesus departed thence, two blind men followed him crying and saying, Thou son of David, they interceded for one another. Have mercy on us. We have discussed this thing. We are determined as friends to be free. Next verse. And when he was come into the house, the blind men came to him. Do you know it's interesting how Jesus acts? Sometimes he will just ignore you as if he does not see you full of grace and truth the fountain of love having two blind men call on him and he just walks away and leaves them and gets into a room and watches their faith they try to stagger their way into the room and he says you are qualified for a miracle then you sit down in your home and think that god will just come to your home and give you a miracle you are dreaming two blind men are we christians are we christians i hope you know that this is this is jesus we're talking about not the disciples would have said they are proud but this is the living logos two blind men the bible says when he came into the house what happened do you know the blind man would have been angry and said you are an man you are not the messiah and they would talk, will he change him just like many people get angry with god he is still king of kings the heavens are worshiping him you are there in hell and so you have to follow him through this one leg following and don't follow with the other leg is why many people are cheated if you will follow him go all the way then he says the blind man came to him and jesus said to them listen 
believe ye that i am able to do this in other words that you are standing in the presence of the world does not mean you will get a miracle do you believe are you convicted do you see that i am able to do this and this is what they said they said unto him yeah lord 29 then he touched their eyes at what point did he touch their eyes they believed they came they had done their part of the deal he now touched their eyes and this is what he said while he touched their eyes according to my ability help me please in response to the action your journey of faith started not from when i came your discussion that you must be healed while you were doing that the word was a witness to your conversation like the woman with the issue of blood who told herself if i may but touch the hem of his garment and now jesus came and they went i'm sure they were tired and they said let's just continue he says according to all that activity not just you're saying yes according to everything you started doing to that point be it unto you so when god gives you prosperity according to your endurance according to the time when you sowed a million naira and the harvest didn't look like it was coming it is still part of the equation of faith according to the time when you were sick and you tried getting up and you fell when you fell you would have been discouraged but you still said lord i believe you according to your faith listen it is not the last thing you do before the miracle that is your faith is the summation of the entire process of action that is your faith man of god according to your faith you you deserve the anointing when you were praying nobody watched you i was watching are we together it was in response to my word when others were sleeping you were standing mommy when you were interceding for your daughter i was watching his faith Look, let me tell you, when you see successful people in the kingdom and you say it's not fair, you must be joking. When God is supervising the law himself. We are going to pray. We must stop here tonight. But I want to challenge your faith. Hear me, people of God. If it will ever change in your life, it's not all up to God. Sisters, hear me. We have lovely sisters in this place but i want you to rise in this season not just spiritually rise in every aspect of your destiny and it's got to be by faith brothers you will be established by faith not by jobs the just shall live not by paycheck the just shall live how by faith if you think all you will ever get in life is because of the certificate you are holding get set for a shock in this life i tell you without any fear or fail somebody can sit down on your promotion and just hate you we have wicked people controlled by demon spirits in this life but your faith i am where i am today by the grace of god but it is through faith by grace through faith you will prosper by grace through faith you will walk in the anointing by grace through faith it will never be outside of it you will rise by grace through faith rise up on your feet hold your hands everybody let's pray in tongues we will rise in your name hold your hands together just reach out to somebody sing it from your heart you reign on. zakata kata parata kata kalabarato ko subataya nende pres kataria taka fashana malada balaka side baba sada baraha tashi melakata embro katos ke barata kapa beteketele makata Hallelujah. 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 We're going to pray. 
the bible says and what things soever ye desire when ye pray believe that thou receivest them and thou shall have them there is a difference between receiving and having receiving is of the spirit having talks of its manifestation i want you to pray listen listen through faith the bible says through faith men subdued kingdoms are we together the key to deliverance is declared thou that ye might be justified you are going to open your mouth and command forces that are stopping you from stepping into the next level of your life to bow the key your point of action is your speaking to the mountain i like you to pray god is changing people's stories hallelujah hallelujah listen we're rounding up but we're still going to pray this point i can tell you this the instructions of god is his leading to the next dimension of your life he says the lord is my shepherd that is why i will not want the lord is my shepherd the lord can lead you there are there are ladies who have been cheaply led to their husbands by the spirit of god come and walk in the welfare department come and serve in ushering it is an instruction for others is something voluntary for you it may be an instruction pray every day one hour for one month that is the instruction listen you must receive grace to take instruction serious not just careless fabricated instructions out of your lost instructions that are genuinely either from the written word of god or from the revealed word through his voice to you we are going to pray one more time lord any instruction i've neglected that has tied me down don't think demons it's not just demons disobedience to instructions individually lift your voice and pray for grace 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 to instructions to the latter to flesh hallelujah 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 when koinonia started the lord spoke to me and said son for this season i want to increase you and increase the ministry and this will happen through the teachings he says do not sell any koinonia material that's what the lord told me he said don't sell anything let all the messages be free at that time ejimi you will testify they had not even started all these uploading messages it was a stupid instruction it was a crazy one ministries depend on the media ministry to raise a lot of funds for ministry activities you will not preach messages as powerful as this and upload them for free but if god said it we will obey and out of that foolish instruction god has used it today to build a name for himself these teachings have gone to cities and countries and places 70 percent of the people who have been blessed through my life and this ministry do not know me they meet me as airports at restaurants everywhere and they are happy i was in abuja a few days ago and someone just met me there and looked at me and said this is apostle joshua selman i said where do you know me i mean i just went to get something so embarrassing he said i've never seen you i've only seen you in my dream and i've seen your faces on posters i'm so happy you know this and that he was greeting trying to sow a seed and i said my god the foolishness of instructions hey jimmy sow the best tie you have as a seed buy shade's child a little trouser oh god why do i need to buy i'm too big for that it's an instruction we must get to a point in our lives where we don't let pride cheat us lock your door every day for one hour dance before god before you sleep oh lord i'm not a dancer it doesn't matter it's an instruction praise warfare you may not be a musician but you need to start engaging this thing god can tell you as a husband get up by three every day for four days lay hands on your wife and children it looks stupid just obey him there is no man that obeys god sometimes we give corporate instructions here fast 
some of us don't fast you don't care pray are you seeing that little disobedience one more time we're going to pray grace for thorough and prompt obedience lift your voice and pray grace for thorough and prompt obedience hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord please write this down this is your assignment for this week everybody has an assignment for this week write it down your assignment for this week is to write down five areas where you desire breakthrough and triumph and find out your part of the deal what god has said concerning that issue and what you must do for a breakthrough write it down i hope you understand it the assignment is that number one you write five areas in your life maybe prosperity healing the anointing whatever just five areas in your life where you know that you are you are truly trusting god for breakthrough you want to see results you want to see notable advancement in other words nothing has been working there or nothing serious has been working there when you've written that you are going to go on a wild search relevant materials go on youtube search koinonia messages they are free get strategic messages go online get your bible if it is finances you can dedicate tomorrow tomorrow is saturday you can dedicate tomorrow and sunday to study finances monday to study maybe on character whatever it is just make sure between now and friday i know some of you will not do it and that's the disobedience we are talking about that lands us in hot water be childlike and do it this is for your good instructions in righteousness come to build us up don't say i am too big be childlike and even me as i'm telling you this this is not an instruction from joshua selman to us it's an instruction from god to all of us myself inclusive are we together find out what the bible has to say about those areas of concern and you must find out your role that's where you know revelation is perfected when you find what you have to do and then pray it pray it with all your heart until you get a rema from god on what to do some of you will return on friday with strange testimonies you'll be surprised faith works bishop oyedeko has shouted it for years faith works are we together are we together please there is grace for you to do this it is for your own good there is grace for you to do this many of you will be surprised to see the things you will discover this week as you study the word a scripture you had been looking at every day all of a sudden light will flash from it and your spirit will be on fire and before you know it you will just rise above something that was tying down your destiny you can be a man of god and like the gentleman who listened to discerning the body probably god has been telling you look your ministry will never grow until you receive a word of impartation and prophecy but you'll be surprised how you'll be planning for five years i will come for koinonia you will now say next week you will say kai uh, ah i'm feeling cold let me just relax as soon as you want to travel your sister will just say ah, i just came on break let me tell you all those acting is a lie but there's something about the will of man the day you stamp your feet and say today i name today as my day of breakthrough the bible said today if you hear his voice every day becomes your today until the day your faith says no tomorrow again it has to be today are we together so tonight i don't want you to sit down and waste your time you are hearing people testify my brothers and my sisters i tell you by the grace of god there is enough grace and power to turn your life to bring any it's not very difficult no it's just your connection stop the arguments the war that is happening in your head 
can God do this? You can't leave Lagos, leave the east, leave the north, and come and sit down. You are wondering. You believe that God brought you to waste your time? No, sir. No, sir. I tell you, in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, oh, can, can the hepatitis go? Can this go? We're talking God here. We're not talking the, the chief consultant of a, a, a hospital. The God of heaven. Can that yoke go? We are nine people in our family apostle. Nobody has a job. It's not about the job. The devil has seen that in the job of those nine people is the bread of maybe 30 children. Those nine people, the money from those nine people who empower a church to preach and save somebody who will become a mighty man and for the sake of that mighty man those nine people will remain poor it's not about the family hallelujah if satan had his way he will kill me crumble this ministry make every koinonia message around the world to disappear all of a sudden in everybody's phone if he can do that he can beat his chest and say i've tried ah but there's a song that says satan shame unto you you know the song don't sing it oh <laughs> we make our boast in the lord in the next few minutes we are going to so rubbish the devil in this place let me tell you first of october We'll let, we'll let the devil know what is in Nigeria. He has tasted what is in America, what is in Russia, what is in this. And then you see your life change. A miracle is a wonder. That, that the limit. Oh, hold his hands. Try to stop him. Two of you. You know that game they used to play? That you try. Oh, yeah. Do it now. Yeah. Don't, no, don't, don't draw him too much. Sorry. You are not very kind. Now, watch this. Are you seeing that now? This guy can be growing old every year. You are celebrating birthday and nothing is moving in your life. Because there is a devil somewhere determined to make sure you don't rise. Let me tell you my assignment. This is me now coming into this equation. My, my assignment is not to cut what is there. My assignment is to carry this like this. This one. Because, you see... I can cut what is there and pass. You can enjoy breakthrough while you are about to go. He's going to hold you and say, come back. Apostle has gone. So the, the job has not been done. My assignment by the grace of God is to carry this mountain you are seeing and carry it out of the way. One, that's number one. That's not all. Then my assignment is to turn you to the direction. That's where prophecy is powerful. And then turn what would have come to you from that delay if i leave you like this you are not oppressed but you are you still don't have breakthrough you are free from oppression but you have not entered your inheritance so you can't testify but whatever that is when it comes to you and you go to it and then i leave you my job is to and and the thing is that all these things happen through words the word that is sent to supervise and make sure you get to your inheritance and then by next week you are coming with an employment letter and you are on your knees saying god what is this what is this then two weeks later five people all barring in your family are saying ah i i i think i'm pregnant then you just remember ah what has happened a man of God that you have space for 500 people in your church and yet you see 10 people, 15 during a convention they grow to 30 by the time service is finishing there are 20 back and all of a sudden something happens and one spectacular miracle happens by the next Sunday in a way that even the critics say I'm here in your church today to watch what happened and you said I never believed I would buy canopy for an overflow but the anointing God brought you here to change your life listen to me I repeat God brought you here to change your life he didn't bring you to just be happy that a program koinonia no 
this is a miracle service a miracle service is not a teaching service i will take out time and teach you but this is a miracle service there are some of you you may not be sick you may not be oppressed but you need to carry something that ends every argument result my brothers and my sisters is the end of every argument i can lie to you or you can deceive me that you are having a pocket square and i can argue because i'm not seeing it but if you bring out a pocket square and i see it this is the end of the argument it will be stupid to still argue at that point you will let everybody know you are a madman this is the result could it be that you have been talking too much let the anointing talk I, I will i will build the house i know god is faithful i will do this and god is saying no moses only spoke small and then the rod kept talking you have been talking forever some of you you are here in this meeting because there is a rod that god will give you you stood before the red sea for forever it refused to part but god brought you here to carry something that you go back with it and it will shock you my brothers and my sisters that that red sea will part and you will call your family and say finally we've been wondering how to build a bridge but we found an easier road that the river can part tonight i want you to know that god wants to do this number one because he loves you but number two there is a dimension of glory only your results can bring to him don't ever let anyone fool you hearing is our father glorified john 15 and verse 8 this is how i am glorified galatians chapter 1 verse 29 says and they glorified god in me not that they glorified god on the throne they looked at my life they saw that god can do this you no father no mother who gave you the job who did you know from the top you're a man of god i used to know your father as a wheelbarrow pusher and you say my brother is what god can do if it is the lord's doing it is marvelous in our eyes for as long as your life is ordinary your ministry is ordinary your business is ordinary you will continue to explain and explain and argue and explain and explain and explain let me tell you god takes away shame from our lives by giving us results did you hear what i said god does not take away shame by explaining anything to anybody he does something in your life and he does it in a way like julius berger will build a house and put b god will do it and put his signature they'll say no this business cannot be human i hear testimonies of people every time the things that god does in and through their lives a wonder please let your heart be open no oh. Don't let the devil make you come here and waste your time. Whether you are outside overflow, one overflow, two overflow, three online, whatever nation you are following, just listen. I believe him. I may not claim I know everything about him, but this God, when God decides to stand up from his throne, he said, now arise from your throne. God can stand up. Have you heard that the earth is his footstool? so when he decides to stand up and say who has made the cry of my daughter to continue coming the bible says even the mountains keep like lambs my god is mighty our own belief many times is the reason why god does not move we come and sit down and pile up some of you have come with all kinds of forms and pictures and that's wonderful but you are there wondering can you move oh god concerning my money can you move concerning my money? Can you move concerning my health? Can you move concerning my wife? And God is saying, yes, I can. I am willing and I'm able. And then the devil comes very quickly and says, if God could move, did the man of God pray for you in, by March? Didn't your pastor fast seven days for you? And you say, it's true. Oh, that's the devil. Tonight, your faith must be open. 
your faith must rise to the heavens to say lord i don't want to leave this place just knowing i'm blessed i want to know what happened to me i want to hold a substance god is speaking to someone here this this sharing the grace and saying, ah were you blessed oh my god miracle service was powerful that's not a blessing no you can hold on to something and know that i left this place what happened the pain is gone i left this place what happened that before the grace is shared you check your phone and all of a sudden a text that you have been waiting for for five years now that's an evidence this is what we are talking about all of a sudden you are sitting down while you are seeing me preach you have been trusting god for that prophetic grace and while the preaching is going all of a sudden your eyes are open you are saying so this is what apostle is saying and you are seeing the power of god touching somebody and then you hear me say there's someone here and you're saying my god i've gotten this elisha knew when he got it elisha knew when he got it he went to the sea where is the lord god of elijah and the river parted you are trusting god for the grace for revelation that before the meeting is over all of a sudden scriptures it's as if it's an injection from your spirit you are just connecting one revelation to this and you're saying, I, I can't remember studying this and then you discern that something is happening something is happening that heaviness has gone where is the fear yesterday night i couldn't sleep the fear of death is gone listen philemon chapter 1 and verse 6 says that the communication of your faith might become effectual through the acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in christ if you don't expect it and you don't pay attention to it if i ask this gentleman to give me water i'm expectant i'm not expecting a handkerchief i'm expecting water anything i see that looks like water is attracting my attention a double-minded man let that man not think he will receive anything from god thank god for people falling and flying up and down but your eyes is stayed like a flint lord i left lagos this morning and i came here i left bielsa and i came here my car almost had an accident lord i would have been in a convention now as a man of god i left it to be here i'm looking for something let something come from heaven and your hunger is like a force that is drawing something from heaven and all of a sudden boom i tell you in one minute I remember many years ago when I was standing in the rain had Bonke Crusade. There were crowds of people like this. I didn't know what who wore. Whether you wore red or green or blue. My eyes were fixed. Lord, what did you give this man that made every nation to open to him? What kind of man is this that no one criticizes him? Abba. I didn't just go there to receive anointing for miracles alone. No. When it came, I knew that I got it. I knew that I got it. Listen, my brothers and my sisters, you can know that the load has been lifted. You can know that the prayer has been answered. You can know that the project is a done deal. Are we together? The grace is here. More than available for you. And whilst we begin to pray, don't just watch others receive. Be sensitive. You are the one who knows what you are here for. Are we together? In one minute, I'd like you to open your mouth and cry. Mention specifically, why are you here? Talk to the Lord. Please pray. Please pray. Pray with all your heart. Lord, I had a young man testify that you gave him properties. I had a young lady, born, had never smelled. She was not in a miracle service, just listening to a message. And all of a sudden, the healing power of God touches that lady and that's it. Lord, I'm tired of this lump. Lord, I'm tired of this medical report. I'm tired of watching my mother cry, my father cry. 
I'm tired of my ministry not growing. I'm tired of staying at a particular level in the anointing. Lord, I've heard testimonies of favor. I have an idea of what happens when a man is carrying favor. But Lord, I don't see it yet in my life. I'm here tonight for this one reason. Lord, even after the deliverance series, I've been seeing certain things happen in my life and my family. That pre-informs me that I will still need a second touch. A second touch over my family. My loved ones are not born again. Lord, I can't watch them go to hell like this. Don't be tired of praying. Please cry from the depth of your heart. Lord, I'm not going back with this disease. I'm not going back with this medical report. No way. No way. No way. I insist. I'm not going back barren. Tired of miscarriages. the universe what can you do what can you do Jesus you're the name above every other name what can you change what can you change Jesus one more time creator Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? I want you to see the Lord lifting your burdens. You're the name above every other name. What can you change? What can you change, Jesus? You are able, great and mighty God. You are able, Jesus. You are able, great and mighty God. You are able. I will continue to read it for you Isaiah chapter 61 please give it to us the messianic prophecy Jesus's own manifesto he's saying this is what I came to do Isaiah 61 it says the spirit of the Lord we're reading from verse 1 to 4 is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek he had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives. Start looking for your own as I'm reading. And the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Verse 2. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all those that mourn. 3. 
to appoint unto them that mourn in zion to give them beautiful ashes the oil of joy for mourning the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called the oaks of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might be glorified for and they shall build the old wastes they shall raise up the former desolations they shall repair waste cities he says the desolations of many generations i like you to pray whatever needs to be fixed in your life and family insist that tonight is the night when it will happen overflow one pray overflow two overflow three by the roadside those following from around the world open up your heart and pray from the depth of your heart hallelujah hallelujah the Lord just showed me something like a train you know a speed train not like we have it now just like a train just pass like this and I believe in my spirit that that is a typology of a grace for speed listen we are going to pray now and like i always say you'll find out when i pray you're going to see people running around in and out please just guide them and bring them out ushers whether you are an usher or not the ushers can only do so much i want to pray once i pray that prayer listen please i don't want you to get listen please hold on i don't want it, the idea is not about people falling down carrying them please let your spirit be open be open for when your word will come be open for when god will visit and locate you that, that's that's what you're here for so i want to pray that prayer now jesus <laughs> i'm seeing a lot of those people at overflow one a lot of the people who will be affected by this prayer I know overflow one the overflow outside you see let me tell you this when a man listen when a man does not have speed in his life you don't have the entire lifetime to do all that you should do it it takes more than just power right please help those in overflow one my god i'm seeing very strange angelic activities happening already at overflow one outside now listen when there is no speed in your life listen imagine that i have to walk from here to maybe the roadside and i'm tiptoeing on one leg am i moving yes sir but when will you arrive there the pressure that you will mount on this leg it will affect you to a point that you may not even stand it and so god when he wanted elijah to move because he had already been delayed the Bible says the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. He was empowered of the spirit and he ran. I, I, I'm, I'm saying this before I pray so that you don't just think it's about anointing and people running around. No, when that grace comes upon you, what God is saying is I'm ready to shift you that within a short time, you will see a lot happen in your life. In three days, the work of redemption was done three days this powerful redemption did not happen 
in 12 years it happened in three days by the end of three days jesus had ascended poured his blood returned back he was ready it was now to launch the church big things don't have to take plenty time when the hand of god comes upon you you will see that a defining moment in your life can happen so fast are you ready now lift your hands i want to pray i will do the praying thank you jesus the lord is asking me to shout jesus not you now i'm the one shouting jesus i'm going to shout it and at the third time i tell you it's going to be an avalanche of the power of god let me have those people out lord you are bringing speed to your people and i know that there are angels all around it's time to change people's levels and even as you have instructed me oh god as i declare that name that is above every other name i pray that anyone under the sound of my voice who has been crippled in one position that in the name of the god of heaven an anointing will shift that person into his destiny jesus that's number one mm. jesus that's number two get ready now Shabalakata. jesus let that anointing right now i shift man speed kabarakatosha speed to your life oh god let every delay be broken now i command the spirit of delay be broken speed i shift you by the power of the holy ghost help that woman please help that mama there Shakatoka tabarakata. please help them whether you are an usher or not speed speed in the name of jesus i command everything that has refused to move in your life i move it by the power of the holy ghost i'm still praying i'm still praying the holy ghost is moving you except this prayer is not for you there is an anointing that must shift you must shift you by the power of the holy ghost lord shift them to their destinies please you will need to help the ushers whether you are an usher or not just just help them there's only so much we can do there's no power that keeps you down this is miracle service lift your hands please i'm praying For some of you now, it's the same prayer, but it's no longer just for you. You may not be experiencing it, but your family needs speed. The anointing now is moving from individuals to families. Lord, where are the families that need the shift of the Holy Ghost? I decree and declare right now, I speak by this apostolic and prophetic grace. Families be shifted now. Speed, speed, speed speed kaparakoto shegeta i decree it i declare it i decree it and i declare it no more delay I stretch my hands I'm seeing an angel of the Lord just on this road I stretch my hands right now I move people God is moving people here I decree it I declare I decree I declare I decree I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus it must work for you I shift you no more delay in your life this lady wearing hijab right now the lord is shifting you that lady in the name of jesus i stretch my hands let the anointing of the spirit 
take away delay from your life right now in the name of Jesus now all those in front I'm praying any chain that has tied anyone's leg or any family at the count of three I speak into the realm of the spirit those chains go now one two three go 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 I lose those families now I command chains be broken now let the families be set free in the name of Jesus young lady lift your hands you you put in your hand on your yes I'm seeing an angel pouring oil on you and the Lord is saying that he's shifting things I'm seeing like a chain on your head being broken now I stretch my hands right now in the name of Jesus let that chain be broken let that chain I command that devil I'm seeing a snake in the spirit let her go now in the name of Jesus hallelujah be sensitive I want to pray a very serious prayer now he said behold I give you authority over snakes and scorpions if you don't like the prayer and pray no problem but I want to pray a dangerous prayer I'm seeing snakes this is what I'm seeing over families now let me tell you this reptilian objects is a representation of the spirit of sorcery in the name that is above all names I declare every spirit that has caged any family here I decree and I declare right now by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus and at the count of three everyone shout Jesus as you shout Jesus I see fire everywhere inside and outside there is massive deliverance about to happen I command every devil and every activity of sorcery to live now one two three in the name of Jesus I crush Satan I crush his works inside outside I command every power every force go now go now hallelujah please be sensitive just give me the volume i'm seeing fire by my left and right just bring out all the people that fall under the anointing now as i'm walking here in the name of jesus i command that devil you must go now you must go now you must go now i declare it by the anointing of the holy ghost as soon as i come close to you that fire and there is an anointing you can't stand it is it possible as soon as i come close to you as soon as I come close to you, that fire, there is a judgment. Let them go now. I'm coming this way. Right now, in the name of Jesus, the power of God is coming this area, this direction. Let them go now. Release them. I come by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Let them go now. Let them go now. Release them. I'm seeing someone here tied around the stomach. Release them now. Let them go. In the name of Jesus, let them go now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I stretch my hands here. Right now. The fire of God is setting people free now. Lose them. Lose them. Lose them. Lose them, lose them, lose them now, lose them, lose them in the name of Jesus. 
Lose them now. Those outside, lift your hands. God is about to set you free. Please, I'd like you to pray. Everyone pray. Enough is enough tonight. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. Now listen. Overflow one, listen to me. Listen, you don't have to touch me. Please, you don't have to touch me. But in the name of Jesus, hear me. The Lord brought me out here because the time has come for something to leave someone. As soon as I pass here, I don't have to come close to you. You are going to feel fire all, all over. That fire, that will be the end of it. You must testify. Right now, I stretch my hands. Right, right now. It's over, over now. Shakos kata adika. Eketo sata rikata. Embreketo sheketa. Akato shekriaka. Manta brekotos. Let them go, let them go. Let them go, let them go. Let them go now. The spirit of sorcery, I curse it now. The spirit of witchcraft, I curse it now. Please help your neighbor so they don't enjoy themselves. Go, go, be free. I command that power by fire, by fire, by fire. It leaves you now. Those of you here, I want you to lift your hands. Overflow two overflow to lift your hands let me go to the front there enough is enough as i pass this place listen i want you to be very sensitive there is a strong anointing tonight overflow too please help your neighbors i'm only going to pass here right there as soon as i come close to you except god is not god if there is any force holding you holding your life and your ministry it must go right now right now in jesus name be free be free now be free now be free now i command those devils go 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 let them go 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 now release them release them release them every covenant release them i break that power now 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 be broken hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord now listen i didn't know we have an extra overflow here i want to pray for those by the side here as i stretch my hands to you please don't waste your time i'm seeing fire already here in the name of jesus at the count of three those of you by the roadside one two let them go by the power of the holy ghost i release you please help them so they don't injure themselves i declare i decree and i declare you are free praise the lord overflow three your life is about to change listen listen honestly there is there is an anger in my spirit because as i entered i'm just seeing chains everywhere right now in the name of jesus at the count of three bring all of them out from the front to the back right now at the count of three overflow three all of you shout jesus one two three Every power, bring them out. Maka poska baka tosh. Ekreke teke teka pakata. Shepra katosa. Every yoke, every force, every operation of darkness, bring them out. Alapakatosh kete 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 kete. Shaka teke te. I'm seeing chains on people's feet. Chains, chains, chains. Be broken now. 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 Change. Be broken now. Hallelujah. Bring them out. Overflow three. Lift your hands. I'm still praying. Listen. 
I'm seeing, I'm seeing patterns. Something that is not just happening to you alone, happening to your father, your mother. As soon as I pray now, I'm seeing fire all over this place. Anyone under that case, you must be free now. At the count of three, anyone holding any pattern, any generational thing in the name that is above all names, at the count of three, one, two, three. Shout Jesus. Bring them out. That devil must let you go today. My God, look at what God is doing in Overflow 3. Look at what God is doing in this place. Hallelujah. Listen to me. The Lord is showing me I'm coming back, but I don't know why God is, is, is on the case of overflow three. The Lord is showing me some of you. I'm seeing you are climbing a ladder, but that ladder breaks down and brings you down. You see things as if it's supposed to happen, but a force draws you back. The moment someone wants to lift you, you will have a dream in the night. And in that in that dream, someone will come to sleep with you, or something will happen. Right now, at the count of three, shout Jesus. I command those devils. One, two, three. Let them go now. Let them go now. Total emancipation. Hallelujah. Jakakos kaparusi kata hasana katushia. Now, now, all those who are under the anointing here outside, I pass a decree that every power that has held you, I speak as one send. At the count of three, let them go. One, two, three, go, 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 let them go. Lose your hold over their lives. Let them go now. Let them go now. Let them go now. Hallelujah. I'm inside this place now and I'm standing in the spirit. I've not started impartation yet, but the Lord is showing me the number 12 and the Lord is saying there are 12 people here. There is a strong call upon your life. There is a mighty anointing. Lord, where are they? Shagatos kapakarikata. Drink of that wine. Mantekatos ketekekata. Shabrakata, a ministry of signs and wonders, ministry of signs and wonders, a ministry of signs and wonders, a ministry of signs and wonders, signs and wonders, signs and wonders. I'm still praying. The anointing of the spirit is still locating men. I don't know why God is talking about ministry. The call. Don't run away from the call. Don't run from the call. A ministry of signs and wonders. The Lord is telling someone, you are the liberator of your family. A ministry of signs. Signs, 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 signs. There are ladies here entering that ministry of signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Hallelujah. Main auditorium, lift your hands. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a distribution of the healing anointing going on in the main auditorium. And I stretch my hands from here. It doesn't matter what overflow. You just be sensitive to what God is doing. Main auditorium. I'm seeing eight people. Eight people in the main auditorium. At the count of three. Right now in the name of Jesus. Fire will come upon your hands. I'm prophesying to the main auditorium. But everybody can receive. 
I decree and declare that healing anointing. One, two, three. Let that anointing come now. Let it come now. Fresh fire. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. I'm seeing. Oh my God. The Lord is opening my eyes here. I'm I'm seeing someone. Don't don't be ashamed and don't be embarrassed. Your father, I don't know if I'm seeing something like a priest. This is someone that worships something like an idol is in your house i'm not saying you're a bad person please i'm not saying you're a bad person you grew up seeing this happen that they worship those idols that gentleman is here in overflow three oh, oh, oh yeah please who is that person come i want to break that thing now from your life please quickly please make sure you hear what i say before you come just let make way for them the power of witchcraft young man you're going to be a mighty man of god i don't know you lift your hands an anointing is coming upon you now huh? it will shift you to a realm of signs and wonder or let that anointing come upon him right now in the name of jesus christ Hold my hands, my dear. The power of idols. In the name of Jesus, I break that force now. I break that force now. I break that force now. Testimony of breakthrough for you and for your family. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. hallelujah I'm praying listen I stretch my hands towards you and I speak I don't know what it is that you have been involved in but in Jesus name I'm stretching my hands why am I seeing fire leaving my hands who is it looking for in the name of Jesus Christ I command everything that is not of God be broken now. The blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. Hallelujah. Just two more things I'll do here. Whether I'm in this overflow or not, I just stood here to show you that it makes no difference. I know the larger congregation is here. Lift your hands, all of you, if you can. Just lift it as high to the heavens. Now, I'm seeing, you don't have to come out, but I'm seeing keys in the spirit. Listen, this is access to a new dimension. And I'm seeing the number 44. Just lift your hands. You don't need to say anything. Father, I stand as one sent. Those keys are locating families and locating people. It may be a key that explains why things have not been working. Lord, from the front to the back, like a mighty wind, whoever must receive that key, receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. let her go now out out now now this lady wearing a red hair tie in the name of jesus i'm seeing a grace that is coming let that anointing come upon you in the name of jesus christ let that anointing come upon you hallelujah overflow three 
i'm seen by the spirit the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing the names of members of your family like written already written already i'm going to pray listen except god has not sent me as i'm praying some of you instantly the power of god will come upon you and god is going to open your eyes you are going to see victory and deliverance in fact i see a family where three of your siblings they've married none of them has a child none of them at all has a child they've done everything to do but there's no child but i stand in the name of the lord father where are those families right now like a mighty wind like a mighty wind oh god let it end right now let there be an opening let there be an opening let there be an opening in the name that is above all names let there be an opening young lady come call that lady for me call this gentleman too this man yes bring him in the name of jesus you need to be delivered i command the spirit that torments you to go now by the power of the holy ghost i release you my dear hold my hands to you i'm seeing that your life is about to change two weeks from now it will surprise you what the lord is going to do in your life i decree and i declare it over your life i stand by the anointing and i pray for you father according to your word within two weeks turn this lady's life around supernaturally in the name of jesus emeka who is emeka emeka i'm hearing a name emeka overflow three here i'm just talking to overflow three people emeka emeka please quickly please quickly don't waste our time where is that gentleman what's your name i want to pray what do you do i'm going to pray for you you are not from this place you came for nyc i want to pray lift your hands because i'm seeing look at me the lord is giving you the grace for wealth huh i want you to believe it but every prosperity that does not have an assignment will end up destroying the people you love jesus with all your heart i want to pray for you it will surprise you the way god will begin to turn things around in your life father change this gentleman's story in the name of jesus forever overflow three i'm still praying the spirit of prophecy is coming on nine people i will count four at the fourth count one two three where are they oh god four nine people nine people the spirit of prophecy the spirit of prophecy all of you open your mouth and begin to pray everything you desire overflow three open your mouth and decree open your mouth and decree i'm seeing an anointing around here who is that person i stretch my hands i'm seeing chains breaking just within this region as i'm standing here father let the chains be broken now the anointing of the spirit find that person let the chains be broken right now right now right now right now right now right now be broken now Please, everyone pray. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. Hold on. There's someone here. The Lord is saying, I'm rolling away your shame. I'm seeing light. As I was just passing, I just saw light. Two people. Let the anointing find those people now. Two people. Right now, I decree. Overflow two. Right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I decree and declare by the anointing of the Holy Ghost shame reproach let it go now shame reproach let it go now shame reproach help them let it go now in the name of Jesus Christ who is Gabriel 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 I'm hearing a name 
who is Gabriel is there someone like that you are wearing a maroon you are wearing like maroon kaftan Gabriel maroon kaftan is there someone like that what's your name do I know you lift your hands my brother God is about to change your life God is about to turn your life around uh, where are you coming from I want to pray for you you love Jesus what is is it Oleku or Aleku what is that huh? Huh? where are you from Benway State. you are from Benway State this is what has tied down your life and your family I want to pray for you I'm not a herbalist eh? father in the name of Jesus let this gentleman be free right now I command that devil to leave you now just keep him there in the name of Jesus these two people this gentleman you yes and the lady by you come quickly please low 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 like a mighty wind spirit of victory what do you do my friend you're a student you love Jesus I want to pray for you huh? yes, are you together yes sir because I saw light on you. husband and wife yes please, sir. well I'm not going to discuss your issue now but two of you need deliverance eh? you love Jesus but you need serious deliverance based on what I'm seeing now huh? you are not husband and wife yet but I'm seeing a lot of stories father in the name of Jesus look at me you're going to be very wealthy but the first thing you need to edit are your friends huh hear what I'm telling you huh my, uh, my sister you know what I'm saying right huh so your friends huh confirm sir listen to me you are not truly born again if your friends don't change hear it from me all this born again that is one leg and you have all kinds of friends if if I am a drunkard and you are not a drunkard but we are staying together I'm close to a drunkard that means I can be implicated by everything a drunkard can be implicated by is that true so my friend you love God there eh? but you see um, look at what I'm doing one leg in one leg out huh? don't be embarrassed when I make the altar call you need to run and come quickly Jesus is not just some religious thing that you just run to just for no 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 Let, let's take God serious and take him look what I see my friend I see God turning your life in a way that will surprise you but friends and this is not just a message to this gentleman alone it's a message to many of us because the demons that destroy our lives work by bringing wrong friends they make you compromise your values it's not your fault but when they come they are vocal about what they believe and because you do not have a community of like-minded believers but let me tell you the truth it matters who you listen to if the devil positions a wrong person to counsel you and they give you a counsel of a hit or fail God may be calling you to a great ministry but you will hear a counsel that would destroy God's purpose over your life I pray for everyone here that in the name of Jesus if you are under the yoke of wrong friends I stand and I speak right now may the Lord set you free this night in the name of Jesus Christ my dear there is favor on your life but it's not speaking at all hmm? you are a nice lady come I'm looking at you I'm seeing a young lady but I'm seeing the face of you and another old woman flashing me and going back see wickedness is real oh. let me tell you my brothers and my sisters wickedness is real huh this is a young beautiful lady you see her standing but you now look at it do you know let me explain something whatever overflow just listen I want to explain something you see this is a mistake that we men of God make sometimes I can look at a beautiful lady like this now and see the face of an old woman and if my word base is not sound and balanced i will i will interpret the vision i've seen verbatim and now call her a witch you see the mistake we make that we call people and then assuming now they are married i will now advise him and say mr man you married a witch oh you do you know what it means to be a witch <laughs> 
so god is you see that god is is balancing a lot of things in our lives let's be careful because sometimes we may see a vision i already know what is happening it is true that the lady needs help but it doesn't mean imagine that i look at this lady now and say my you're a witch no this is a lovely she has a beautiful heart i already see by the spirit very beautiful heart but it beauty and a good heart does not take away oppression it takes the power of god how terrible art thou in your ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves so many of you are here you find out for instance the moment you enter a relationship come for instance as you mean i enter a relationship with this lady and you find out that there may be something wrong in her life and it starts affecting me have you seen that happen i'm doing well in business but just because i married this lady i start going down and now you meet a man of god and if the man if you're in ministry here please be careful you have to trust god for grace to be balanced are we together i can now look at this lady and say ah your wife is the reason behind your failure um what i'm trying to say is that oh there might be a spirit connected to her that is affecting me and the works of my hands but it doesn't mean she's bad a good man of god will bring about that separation and then through the transforming power of the word now help this couple to stand and become the best of couple because a body without a spirit is dead so it's not about condemning and destroying the body are you getting it now so my dear let me tell you you're a wonderful lady huh we are going to deal with this nonsense now this whatever it is that the devil is because this thing is affecting your life you don't know why good things don't come to you you're a very nice lady hold my hands father hold it with both of your hands i decree and declare ah halushia kaprahasku de bakatuskia i'm seeing fire leaving my hands in the name of jesus I command this devil I'm seeing through the face of this old woman be gone now. My dear, I set you free and I open the door of favor for you right now. Please, everybody, lift your hands. I'm seeing, I've not seen this in a long time. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and I'm seeing an anointing going to Benway State. Benway State now. Benway State. You are from Benway State. You see that that power will touch you. Even if you don't know what state you are from. Benway State. Lord, where is In the name of Jesus. The power of God is bringing deliverance. Benway State. In the name that is above all names. In the name that is above all names. In the name of Jesus. Madam, I'm going to pray for you. Two things. I'm seeing that the devil wants to put stroke complete stroke the devil wants to paralyze you from head to toe but we're going to destroy that now in the name of jesus hold my hands i decree and declare be free now by the power of the holy spirit madam i don't know you but ah you please come ah. this is your first time coming i need to pray for you what do you do ma you are jobless ma Huh? I'm looking at you and I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit two of your hands are tied there is nothing you do that works and prospers it's not normal you are a very good woman please don't be embarrassed I hope I'm not embarrassing you I want to pray for you I give you three weeks 21 days ma your life will turn around in a way that will surprise you I lay my hands right now and I declare I'm seeing chains leaving you I command those chains to go father turn her life around in the name of jesus in the name of jesus please open your mouth and begin to pray hold on hold my hands in the name of jesus christ i open that closed door now i open that closed door now by the power of the holy ghost please open your mouth and begin to pray everyone open your mouth and pray The Lord is asking me to stand here, just here, just to stand here. Because the Lord is bringing breakthrough here and here, here and here, right now, here and here. I command right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, every planting that is not of God, I uproot it now, I uproot it now, I uproot it now. Lift your voice and begin to pray, please. Lift your voice and begin to pray. 
in the name of Jesus, lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I know our time is gone. We are going to be very fast. Sir, you're welcome, sir. Can I pray for you, sir? Why are they here? Priest. You, sir. You are a priest? I served, my father served and died. Sorry, where are you from, sir? I'm from Elori. Sir, I want to pray for you. The Bible says, even the lawful captives even the lawful captives my brothers and my sisters you will be surprised to see what happens in your life after this miracle service this this woman come madam you yes come please quickly come we're out of time say in jesus name say it in jesus name my life is about to change say it again say in jesus name reproach is leaving me now in the name of Jesus, let it go forever. In Jesus' name, sir, I hold your hands and in the name of Jesus, every ordinance that is not of God, help him. I command that it is broken right now. You are an elderly man, but I use you as a point of contact. We break every ordinance of darkness. This, this lady too. Priest, you, your dad, your father is a priest currently. Oh, where? Oshun State. Don't be embarrassed, eh? You are here because Jesus wants to help you. Lord Jesus, it is not your will that any man perish, but that everyone comes to the knowledge of the truth. I deliver this lady right now. Everything they have given you to drink and eat, I stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and I set you free now. Be gone. Now! Out! Let it leave her. I'm seeing that the father has given her so many things in her life. But in the name of Jesus. Hi. Jesus' power is really superpower. Really superpower. That in one moment, something that has been done in a lifetime can live. Out! Now! Everything that is not of God. Her father is a priest, or not her uncle. Direct father. Imagine how many times... She has been involved in all of these things. But in Jesus' name, you are set free. This, this man too, why is he here? Look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. You are receiving the healing anointing now. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, grant him access to the healing anointing. Your healing power now oh dear our time is gone this is sometimes i honestly wish that this this because there are so many things i see but we have to work with time this lady you come hurry up now please come uh, we're out of time wonderful lady look at me you are a savior to your family you hear what i said you are a savior you may look small but you are a savior to your family the only thing is that you need to continually be serious with God. Your heart with him. Your heart with him. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, I take away distraction from her life. Right now, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, I take away distraction. I take away distraction. I, we have we've not even prayed for the sick girl. My dear, come. This lady waving your hands. Come quickly. Your life is about to change. Come. Where are you coming from? You are coming from Abuja. I'm here with my husband. Husband, where are you, sir? Let's clap for the husband. Two of you came from Abuja. Last time. You came with? For SOM. Came. I can't remember. You came with your... Oh, your son was a graduate of SOM. No, we came with him. Oh, okay. So I'm a graduate. I want to pray. What do you do, sir? Um, I'm a minister of God, but at the same time, I do business. But it's not sir, working. I want to pray for you. Eh? Things are not working. You need the anointing. You are a sincere man. My dear, the prophetic grace is coming on you as I'm speaking now. 
in the name that is above all names i stretch my hands that anointing you will start having dreams receive that grace two of you need empowerment ministry ministry without genuine empowerment will make it look as if you are wasting your time are you a man of god stand up stand up take that anointing now in the name of jesus you step into a new dimension i take away shame and reproach from your life and ministry from today you step into a realm of signs wonders miracles in the name of jesus can i pray for you sir look at me hold my hands hold my hands just hold it with both of your hands in the name of jesus i transfer grace signs and wonders strange testimonies your business between now and 30th of november sir your finances will change you and your wife in ways that will surprise you you will come back and testify in the name of jesus christ this man waving your hands come together with that woman by your side who is she come please two of you quickly let's appreciate them as they come Oh, 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 I'm seeing you like this and I'm seeing a load on your head. And if I don't pray for you, this load is going to destroy you. I want to pray for you. Where are you coming from? Are you new here? By Elsa. By Elsa. Hmm. All the way. I think we should appreciate them. What do you do, sir? I'm a pastor. You're a pastor. You're in ministry, both of you? Evangelist. My ministry is separate. Your ministry is separate. Evangelist. But both of you came from yes, Bielsa. Are... You're an evangelist. Yes. You pastor a church? Yes. How long has it been? Okay, I was uh, about four years now in Baisa. But you were somewhere? Yes, I was in Abuja. You were in Abuja? Yes. And then you left Abuja and went to Baelsa. Do you know what happened? I was hmm. Is it your church now? You're serving someone else's church. Okay, I want to pray for you because what i see god do through your life i'm seeing god giving you two things the grace for leadership number one number two the grace for finances these two graces god is giving it to you i don't know you sir i'm seeing you for the first time ma you are an evangelist i'm going to pray for you what do you do you hold crusades and all of that no i i usually have meetings every month and then i speak on radio i have a live radio i do my evangelical on radio and then oh you TV. do a live radio yes live radio talk show three things one barrenness two poverty three witchcraft you are carrying the grace to smash nonsense out of these three things as you are going back don't forget huh the same grace on you, I'm seeing it come on this lady, this one, this one, this lady I'm talking to. I want to pray for you. Sir, this thing is an election of grace. You see, I'm, I'm also a spectator, the same way you are watching. Me too, I'm watching. With wonder and shock, the way this thing works. That God can just change a man's life overnight overnight evangelism i hold my hands father this is a dear woman of god all the way from bielsa i stand by the anointing of the holy spirit and i declare fresh anointing fresh dimensions in the spirit and i pray madam the lord is asking me to pray for your finances seriously for your finances and then the lord is saying i should tell you to pray for faithful workers I'm seeing you do a program for women when you go back. This thing I'm seeing is going to be a powerful program. There is a program in Abuja that looks like what you would do. It's called When Women Pray. I'm seeing that same kind of grace on you. That you are going back to Bielsa and God is giving you uncommon grace for women. 
in the name of Jesus I decree and I declare you carry that grace right now madam my God will honor you ah! in the name of Jesus supernatural grace drink of that wine sir I'll pray for you the grace for leadership the grace for finance but I'm ah, it's not only pastoring I'm seeing you do what else do you do I manufacture paint you manufacture paint that's right sir what am I seeing this is somebody it's, it's not directly the government but this is somebody that is connected to the government the Lord is going to connect him to you it's, it has something to do with supplies that thing will make you millions overnight in a way that it will surprise you please write it you will see it happen father in the name of jesus i pray for this man of god i stretch my hands drink of that wine that anointing drink of that wine you will never be the same i stretch my hands i take away every limitation from your life and i decree and i declare your life turns around from today in the name of jesus give jesus praise goodness 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 Can we still pray for the sick? We can't close this without praying for the sick. In the name of Jesus, be healed from it now. I command that devil, that virus, go! Now! In the name of Jesus, you go and write your test, bring back your results. Go listen I, can we time is gone. Oh dear. you see how sometimes this thing we are really constrained that's why we do our best the healing anointing is already flowing God wants to heal maybe I will just pray I will just pray for the sick from here we'll do it that way right but make no mistakes just that you, that you are not coming out doesn't mean I want to pray for you now we'll take a few testimonies now in the last three or four months i have seen i don't know why this happens but i have seen a dimension of the healing power of god very creative miracles so i want to pray you are trusting god for a miracle lay your hand right now on your body quickly i want to pray for you now please believe god for a miracle now this is what will happen overflow one two three the roadside and then those following us online our time is gone but as soon as i pray for you now i pray for you the power of god is going to come upon you i'm going to ask you to check yourself praise the lord we may not take all the testimonies but since we have chosen this method now as soon as i pray i ask you to check yourself you will be surprised what has happened to you and whether you are in overflow one two or three i'm going to ask you to run very quickly you're going to come right here pastor jimmy will be here with pastor alpha they will just check you and we'll take one or two of the testimonies and i'll just confirm that um how many of you brought your prayer request let me see did you bring your prayer request okay ushers this is what you, i want you to do pr department help them protocol please help them while i'm praying for the sick i think we can do it too your prayer request please make sure that your prayer request or that of your loved ones get to the ushers just lift it the ushers have a system of collecting it you don't have to be rowdy those outside you can pass it to the last person in the aisle if you will not bring any confusion you can have that very quickly please lay your hands now i want to pray jesus A lady in overflow one is going to shout a loud shout for everybody to hear as soon as that shout happens i'll begin to pray for the sick very loud shout from overflow one a strong anointing is coming on that person the moment that happens that's the shout there now i'm ready to pray for the sick in the name Please agree with me everyone in the name of Jesus Christ 
I decree and declare right now those under the anointing you don't have to bring them out I'm, I'm praying now every spirit of infirmity please make sure you are hearing me overflow one two three every spirit of infirmity right now by the power of the Holy Ghost I curse you now I curse you now say amen I curse you now in the name of Jesus I command every spirit behind every infirmity over anyone's life be healed now in Jesus name be healed my God the power of God is touching people already be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus overflow one two three by the roadside be healed in the name of Jesus now I command every blood condition be healed from it now in Jesus name peptic ulcer the Lord is healing ulcer right now be healed in the name of Jesus Christ be healed in the name of Jesus Christ lumps all kinds of lumps multiple lumps I command those devilish lumps to live now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing a number of people having um, hepatitis the Lord is healing hepatitis right now by the power of the Holy Ghost eye conditions in the name of Jesus you're going to feel fire just come to your eyes be healed right now in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus every pain that has to do with the bones I decree and declare let the power of God touch you right now there's someone you have severe pain around your back just right here your lumbar vertebra in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands be healed right now in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name there's someone you don't hear well with your this is left left ear and then sometimes you just hear like a sharp you know how bees are that sound the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus every kind of fibroid every kind of growth in your stomach in the name of Jesus be healed from it now be healed from it now be healed from it now now whether I mention your case or not whatever is wrong with you I stretch my hands and I declare be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus some of you when you fell under the anointing long before I started praying for the sick you got up and found out that you have been healed now overflow one if they are coming here for the healing please just clear the way for them overflow one overflow two overflow three and the roadside I'll give you a minute those online if you're healed you can you know just just send it as an inbox on our Facebook page or you can find a way to post it I want you to check yourself now within a minute or two the moment you find out that the power of God has touched you make your way some of you you get up under the anointing you find out that the pain there's a lady who has a severe case of bleeding go and check yourself the bleeding is gone gone completely and I'm seeing someone heaviness around the chest is just lifted gone like that please check yourself very quickly and come we may not take all the testimonies but at least let's take a few while we are doing that let me have all the prayer requests very quickly God bless you check yourself quickly Koinonia are you celebrating Jesus the Lord is touching people show them where to come look at look at God touching people already please make your way make your way the power of God has touched you those outside overflow one overflow two clear the way for them just come you can stand on the queue there and let's have one or two testimonies God bless you Koinonia are you celebrating miracles here yeah. Make your way. Be bold. Don't be ashamed. Make your way as soon as the power of God has touched you. Back pain since hold last on, year. Hold on, hold on, just a moment, please. All make sure if 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 your prayer request has not been collected, please. I want you to wave it. Jesus is still healing people. You just come join the queue. God bless you. Yes, please. Back pain since last year. Can healed. you sit for a, a few minutes? Just sit for a few minutes and then we're done. Let's just hear the testimonies. If as you are hearing the testimony, God is still healing people. 
and I want you to make your way and then come to okay go ahead pastor Alpha. my god the... god is still touching people i'm seeing people being touched even in overflow three overflow three check yourself right now and make your way yes please you go mentioned ahead. the case of back pain she's been having the problems this last month back but pain. she's now how long come my dear let's have another mic please anytime we're doing this please technically it should be a standard procedure you should know what we're doing please so that we don't delay unnecessarily how long my dear since last month yes in the name of jesus christ I decree and declare it never returns again by the power of the Holy Spirit back pain gone forever heaviness in the chest disappeared how long my dear just when you came here in the name of Jesus hold my hands um, I'm seeing someone you had something like a a growth around your neck check it now you'll be surprised to find out it's gone gone completely gone completely by the power of the Holy Ghost, gone completely. In Jesus' name, I declare that every operation of darkness over you is gone in Jesus' name. Give Jesus praise. Deafness in the left ear since 2012. Since 2012. Oh, come on, Koinonia. How long, my friend? A man of God told me about in 2012 when I prayed, but I was hearing those B sounds. And I don't hear really. Which of them? The left ear. Put your hand there now. In the name of Jesus, it never, never returns to you. By the power of the Holy Spirit, yes. Ulcer, you mentioned ulcer. ulcer. How long? Yes. Okay. Where are you from? Kaduna, sir. Kaduna State. Yes, sir. That's where you are from. Yes, Your state of origin. Not biologically. Biologically, where are you from? I'm from each Petal Court. I mean, I'm from State. There's a reason why I said this. There's a lot you don't know where you are from. There is a long story. Leave the issue of healing now. Where eh? I need to pray for you. Don't feel bad. Huh? Look at me. Where are your parents? Who are you staying with? My mom and my, my stepdad at Kaduna. Okay, it's okay. I'll talk to you. Eh? Father, help this gentleman. Because this gentleman is a great gentleman, but there is a lot I'm seeing in your life. I crush the hand of darkness over your life now. And I declare be free. In Jesus' name. Koinonia, you are pain. not celebrating. You are so used to miracles in this place. He was feeling the May pain, God but as you prayed for him, it left. It's gone completely. How long? Since July. July. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord perfect you. Apostle, you mentioned someone with pain at the back. It was her for the past three years. What's your name, my dear? Juliana. Juliana. You mentioned something, the lower... Uh, the, the lower back pain. Affected her left leg also. This pain in Check her back. Check it now. Check it. Check it. Any pain? It's gone completely. Give the Jesus last three praise. years. In the name of Jesus Christ, it never returns to you again. Please make sure that we have the request. If you are still yet, if you are still with your, wave it. Just wave it, and an usher will come. Look at that man. And you are sitting quietly there. You wave it and let them know. Pain at the back, completely healed. Pain at the back. You fell under the anointing. I ah, see you looking. In the name of Jesus, it's, it's a good baguette, my friend. Huh? If you fall under the anointing and your destiny arises, it's a wise baguette. Is that true? In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, never again in your life. The power of God is coming on someone in overflow one. Overflow one. Please carry the person and bring the person. Overflow one. The overflow by the roadside. Overflow two. Sorry. Overflow two. I meant to say. Ah, look how powerful the power of God is. I said overflow one and nothing happened. I just said overflow two. Then I now went to say. She's had pain on the left, left shoulder since How long, my dear? Seven. Let her talk. How long? Seven. 2007. You've had what? I've had this pain. It will come and go, come and go. But today it has been intense. But when you mentioned the case, the pain left. It's gone completely. Check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Up, down. Come. In the name of Jesus Christ. I will pray, but the person I'm talking about is overflow two. Overflow two. The overflow by the roadside. 
so you bring the person the name of Jesus perfection for you right now in Jesus name she's had serious um, back pain that back she pain had to start horse riding so that you can correct but today they asked you to ride a gone. horse yes who said you should ride a horse the doctor or just advisors <laughs> don't, don't listen. she's shy <laughs> the horse this is the man it's amazing how you come for koinonia minding yourself and you are surprised to see people just carrying you and you're wondering where am i going to the anointing amazing let me just talk to them and then don't worry do your horse thing eh i'm just happy that you are healed so you can go and ride your horse now for fun in the name of Jesus, you are perfected, completely perfected in Jesus' name. I take away this proverb called Ichabod over your life and over your family. I'm speaking to both of you now from Overflow 2. In the name of Jesus, I set you free and I decree and declare that that proverb shall no longer be mentioned in your life. It will no longer be Ichabod in Jesus' name. I'm coming here, but you are the one I'm talking to, eh? Debbie, it's not the, this person. You hold this one. Don't worry, they'll hold her. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is saying he is going to use you to change everything in your family. It will be like a dream, but he is going to use you. He's making you a savior over your family. Don't ask how it's going to happen. It's by the anointing. The spirit entered me when he spake unto me that God is going to use you and change everything in your family in the name of jesus yes go ahead she's had severe menstrual pain since she started menstruating that resulted in serious back pain how Came old are you now pain this evening sir how old are you now 21 21 and she's had severe menstrual pain yes and she came here with the pain today but the don't pain believe is gone. that thing oh in the name of jesus i cancel it forever amen. say amen by the power of the Holy Spirit, severe menstrual pain goes back to hell. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. She had headache, heaviness in the chest. Heaviness? In the chest. Okay. And then she had severe headache. And as she prayed for her, it totally and, left. And what? Hiccup. She's... The heaviness used to make her hiccup. She was even hiccuping during the service. But as she prayed, she's totally healed. God bless you. Look at me. Where did you come from? Kaduna. Kaduna State. You are going back, eh? Where's your mother? She's in Bauchi. When are you going to see her? I'm serving in Kaduna, so it has to be December. December. If I, if I give you an instruction for your mother, will you obey it? Eh? Look for 1,000 Naira recharge card, eh? Yes, Send it to your mother to bless her okay. and watch what happens in your life. Yes. You just do what I ask you to do. It's not some superstition. Please, you get my point. It's just the law of honor that will trigger something. I release my faith with you. Your mother is going to pray one prayer for you that looks like she's playing. But you watch what that play will do in your life. In she had ulcer, peptic ulcer. As she prayed for her, she was totally... Peptic healed. ulcer. How long? I'm here now. Put your hand on your chest. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, peptic ulcer goes back to hell. In the mighty name of Jesus goes to hell forever she also had ulcer but she also had kidney inflammation she used to feel a sharp pain she's been healed of the ulcer now when she presses the place before press she it. Feel, press it press it any pain no pain gone completely no. come on koinonia may god forgive you may god you people have seen signs and wonders too much to a point that god bless you he had a sharp pain in his left side okay you mentioned it and then he also used to experience dizziness that he would just be standing be dizzy and then slump but as you prayed for him he was totally you just slump like that yeah they may even have to catch it it happened, it happened once august august 26 you just slump like that yes i was falling and then my brother caught me come what if you fall down like the epileptic patient that used to fall inside fire the devil would just wait until you are crossing a bridge then that wicked spirit will come because he comes to steal to kill and to destroy in jesus name i set you free you are free now you are free forever in jesus name back pain disappeared he's had back pain for a long time back pain sir now. yes in jesus name let it go and go forever never to return again in sometimes the two eyes go blind 
other times only the right one go blind, but now he's totally healed. He can see with both eyes. Have you gone to the hospital for this? But sometimes you just go blank like that. Come. In the name of Jesus, put your hands on your eyes. I decree and declare perfection for you by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. He's had back pain for a long time. He's healed now. Back pain. You see, God is when there are messages behind miracles. You see that God is healing a lot of back pain because it's a revelation. It's not just the bones are what give structures to a person. Doctors tell us. That means that by this miracle, God is speaking through it, right? Like he's doing the miracle of Ezekiel 37. The bones coming back. It took the bones to come back for an army to rise. Therefore, I'm praying that everything that is out of order, out of joint, out of place in your life, by the anointing that is characterized by these miracles, let there be a restoration of it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Yes, please. Go ahead. So, back pain. He came here with waist pain, sorry. Waist pain. He came here with How long? serious pain. 2014. And now, it's gone. try to turn. It's gone. He Completely. squatted for me and... Um, no Squat. You not. You did it for him. Yes. You didn't do it for me. Ah. It looks like a footballer. Gone and gone forever. In Jesus' name. Apostle, you mentioned someone... See, he's laughing you know, until he fell under the anointing. A buzzing sound in his left ear and he couldn't hear. Oh, okay. You mentioned it and he was hearing the buzzing sound all through. But as you mentioned it... It's gone now. What's your name, sir? Hear. Since 2014, for the past four years... It's gone completely. Ear, he's Give totally Jesus praise. Healed. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare by the power of God, never, never, never returns to you again. Apostle, her left hand, the middle finger, she couldn't bend it at all. She has gone for treatment. She couldn't bend it Which at one? all. Which one? The middle finger. Longest How long? Last year. Why couldn't you bend it? I don't know. I bend it now. Let them see it. Look at this. And then, as you were praying for the lady with menstrual pain, she also had, as you were praying right now, she came for the testimony, the menstrual pain also left. Let it go back to hell Amen. and never come to you again. In the name of Jesus Christ. She had weak. Your father's salvation. Ah, we are experts in praying for salvation here. You need to find out how God saves people here. When you, it's not that God saves them. It's how he saves them. That is a sign and a wonder. I was preaching the series on um, reality of heaven and hell. And there was one malam. He came for koinonia. He was seated outside. And while I was praying, he, he was studying his, 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 his... Let me study your IRK. Or what, he was studying something like that. And then, all of a sudden, he just... I mean, koinonia just disappeared. And he saw a vision of heaven outside, overflow one. And the Lord Jesus was talking to him. That's how the guy got born again. Remember years ago... The gentleman that came here, that gentleman that belonged to a cult group, you, you know the, the guy, that funny guy that came outside thinking that this is some harbourless place. As soon as I climbed here, all that the guy saw was, I hope he's still in Christ. But as far as, <laughs> yes, the one that slept three days on a graveyard to get power. And so when he was here and saw power, he said, ah, there's power here. Whether it's demonic power or God's power, there's really power here. In the name of Jesus, there is grace that saves men. We declare that your father comes to the genuine saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. She had witness who was ill. When we take the last person, that would be also that we can... Yes, In overflow please. three, witness overflow three. body pain. So as you went outside and you ministered, ah, she fell under God the power God visited of God. overflow three today. Oh, this miracle service was for overflow three. As she fell under the power, she stood up perfectly whole. Completely. It's gone. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again. Yes, please, go ahead. She said she was feeling headache and then generally she wasn't feeling fine. But and as you prayed, come, my dear, in the name of Jesus Christ, it goes here. Can, her body is even hot. You can see that her body she is came ill, cough, she, but everything is perfect. In the name of Jesus Christ, it goes forever. Next person, okay. please. He's had um, back pain for a while. During the seven days fasting program, yes. he was healed. But yesterday, the symptoms came back. But right now, he has been permanently... What, what was the issue, sir? Back pain. Back pain. Come. You see, the, you see the, the thing again I'm telling you? Miracles are messages in Jesus' name. 
back pain goes and goes forever. Yes, she's please. had serious kata since 2010 that lasted for three years. Is, is it that kata? And came back again, but right now she's completely healed. Completely healed. Put your hand on your chest, Lord Jesus. Let this lady be perfected now, perfected forever. I bring you the anointing of the Holy Ghost, forever healed, forever perfected. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you, He's bringing restoration, restoration to your life in Jesus' now, name. Now, He's had back pain since 2006. And then, hmm. as He sat there and you mentioned the case, He believed He was healed, but the symptoms were still there. Yes. While He stood up from there to come here, the symptoms disappeared. That's number because one. Because God will always honor faith. Come, my friend. Then the second thing was that He had this chest pain, He had done His ECG scan. And they told him they were going to place him on hypertension drugs. But while he stood here, the pains disappeared. The heaviness left. Hypertension, back to sender. Back to the devil that sent it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Yes, please. Her grandfather died of this ulcer pain. Her father has it. Her sister has it. And then she's also seeing the symptoms. But tonight, when the case was mentioned, she was completely healed. You see... This, these are the kinds of cases where it's not just a healing for the person. Grandfather died of it. You said father has it. Father has it. Mother, sister has, sister it. has it. Yes. Aunties. Yes. Everybody has it. Most of my aunties. My, my younger sister, my dad, just all of us. Like where are you from? I'm from Delta State. Delta State. In the name of Jesus, a beautiful lady, the devil should not rubbish your destiny. I can't sue this yoke not just over your life but over your family in the name of jesus is gone now and gone forever in jesus you mentioned name. back pain apostle she came for personal prayers last week just on her own personal um, prayers as she was going back she felt like an arrow was shot in her back since last week she has been having that pain but as you mentioned it, hold the my pain hands in the name of jesus look at me look at me shout jesus jesus Yes, she had this pain in her chest and her stomach. She suspected it Our was lovely ulcer. Our Osha, you can imagine how hard, how wonderful, okay? She was suspecting it was ulcer, but she has never gone for diagnosis. But as you mentioned, the heaviness and the pain, Put everything your hand just on your left chest. in her stomach. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that that devil goes back to hell. In the name of Jesus, give Jesus praise. Now, everyone, please stand. Everyone, please stand. Oh, they're still... He's had a very mysterious headache, heaviness that just disappeared now as you mentioned the case. In the name of Jesus, come my friend. It never returns to you again. Every other person that has been touched by the power of God, we declare perfection for your body now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Please, I want you to stretch, I want you to stretch your hands towards this prayer request. Stretch your hands and I want you to begin to declare that as you have dropped this request now in the name that is above all names the only thing you are permitted to pick is your testimony lift your voice and declare it in the name of the lord jesus christ i decree and declare by the power of the holy ghost Embra po shodo pretekete e karo sakatosh kalabos en taro seketeketekete. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray over this request. We decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. Lord, let impossible situations. Please make sure everybody's request is here. Let impossible situations go. Please agree by faith as you pray. We are laying our hands on this request. In the name of Jesus, Shakos Kaprakato Shadebakata, Embrekete Koto Shabragados. Father, in the name of Jesus, this is a representation of the faith of your people. You are the God that answers prayers. I ask, oh God, that you arise. Arise in power, arise in majesty, arise in grace. In the name of Jesus. Turn the lives of your people around. Turn the lives of your people around. Turn the lives of your people around.
hallelujah i stand upon this request prophetically and i agree with you for some of you the things you have written here the truth is that only god can do them there's no man born of a woman that can do it in fact if you read some of the things for us even us who god has helped will have to doubt and say ah but thank god that the request is unto god father we present before you this request and in the name of jesus i declare that this request has supernaturally turned to testimonies they are supernaturally turned to testimonies in the name of jesus christ please stand if you can and receive the last prophecy and impartation I will continue to speak over your life and I will continue to release the anointing on your destiny until until your life becomes a picture of everything that God has said therefore please I want you to humble yourself and open up your heart and your spirit there is a lady you have been seen You have been seeing yourself carrying children in dreams this is almost all most of your dreams that's all you are breastfeeding children you are carrying children you are with babies in the name of jesus every fraternity every fraternity with the gate of darkness in the name of jesus i'm praying for those people first i command that devil to leave you now once and for all once and for all hallelujah i'm praying for someone else i don't know why god is interrupting me now there is no night that you sleep without somebody coming to molest you i'm saying once you go to bed somebody must come to molest you whether it's a man whether it's a woman whether it's an animal that must happen to you you get up and physical things begin to be misplaced i'm praying right now for those people that this word is for in the name of jesus by the fire that comes from the throne of god i declare you and that demonic spirit be delivered now once and for all in the name of Jesus now I pray for you if there is anyone here called into ministry or anyone here in ministry but you are not seeing the signs the wonders the results that befit the anointing where are you I pray for you I stretch my hands right now in the name that is above all names I prophesy to your life catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire he makes his ministers wings he makes his angels wings and his ministers flames of fire therefore I speak over your life catch fire healing fire deliverance fire breakthrough fire let it come upon you now in the name of Jesus now I speak over every crippled destiny you are trying to make progress and move but something is pinning you down and keeping you in one place in the name that is above all names by the power of the prophetic I shift you to the next level of your life please believe it I shift you to the next level of your life for all those in business here and you're trusting God to stabilize you are up today and down tomorrow I stretch my hands in the name that is above all names may the grace for strange favor may the grace for favor come upon your business 
and lift you to a new dimension in the name of Jesus Christ every helper that must show up between now and October miracle service listen you heard the testimony of the gentleman here it just takes one genuine helper genuine sent by God I pray for you and I connect you to the helper that will turn your life around in the name of Jesus Christ I connect you to the helper that will turn your life around in the name of Jesus Christ listen every family here that is saying Lord when will you visit us when will you wipe our tears when will you take reproach from our lives I'm declaring to you now by the force of favor may the Lord turn your family's life around right now anyone here called barren or you are connected to anyone you know trusting God for the fruit of the womb in the name of Jesus we release their miracle children now I'm praying for anyone here trusting God for a job you are trusting God for a job or you have loved ones that are trusting God for a job in the name of Jesus I agree with you that between now and October miracle service return with your testimony the kind of favor ah, the favor that can turn your life overnight around I decree and declare may that favor and that grace locate you and turn your life around hallelujah now I want you to say amen to this prayer that I want to pray for you the problem that only you will have the anointing and the grace to solve that will pick you and bring you to notoriety in the name of Jesus from the depth of my heart may that anointing come upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ 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 help that mama please listen your relevance is defined by the solutions you provide so when God wants to help you he will carry Joseph and put in him an ability to interpret Pharaoh's dream Joseph interpreted the dream of the buckler nothing happened when you interpret the dream of a man of influence you will not remain in the prison i pray for you again the grace the grace that will cause you to solve the problem of one who has the influence and the capacity to bless you receive that grace in the name of jesus anyone here or your family members due for promotion and have been kept down either by tribalism or religion or some kind of devilish factors in the name that is above all names we declare their promotion here we declare their promotion now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ now I agree with you whether I uniquely mention your issue or not whatever it is you came here believing in the name that is above all names i stretch my hands and i agree with you let it return to you as a speedy testimony yeah. hallelujah Lord, in this month of October, I'm, not, I'm, I'm the one asking for you. Father, a dimension of financial increase that your people have not seen. 
this has nothing to do with what you are doing on i'm praying for you in the name that is above all names i pray for you may my god bring supplies to your life this month in a way that will bring tears of joy to your eyes finally i pray for you i don't know what dimension in the spirit you are crying that god brings you into for some of you god has helped you in the area of revelation but you truly need the gifts of the spirit to walk in your life for some of you you have seen the gifts of the spirit work but you need a higher dimension for some of you you need comprehension into the word of god for some of you you need the grace for prayer you are not lazy the grace is just not there for some of you you need faith and courage capacity to believe god for impossible things it doesn't matter what category i stretch my hands and i declare whatever spiritual blessing you desire i stretch my hands to you now let it come upon you right 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 now in the name of jesus christ let it come upon you right now i'm still praying it let it come upon you prophetic fire let it come upon you visions and dreams visions and dreams let it come upon you the grace to interpret visions and dreams let it come upon you the gifts of healing let it come upon you tongues interpretation of tongues the gifts of wisdom the gifts of leadership administration let it come upon you in jesus name father we give you thanks we thank you i decree and declare the blessing that is upon nigeria the grace that has made nigeria indestructible after 58 years may that same grace keep your life intact if nigeria is not dead after 58 years i forbid death from your life in the name of jesus christ hallelujah you are here and you are saying apostle i need jesus you heard the prayer of our dear lady here the sister that came requesting for her father in the name of jesus listen carefully i know we are trying to settle down in the name of jesus that lady i curse the spirit that that lady you are with i command that devil let her go now look at the kind of wild wild spirit these are the kinds of spirits that that make people manifest as stubborn it doesn't mean they are bad when a stubborn spirit is working in your life it will reflect that's why you find out that they don't listen no matter what you tell them they never listen these are the spirits in the name of jesus christ i set this lady free hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us. Because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.